Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We're continuing on with our 100% walk through the game, so thanks for coming. We do have an awesome giveaway that we're doing, so make sure you guys are all entered simply by smashing that like button, sharing the video with a friend, and answering our community question of the day. Which of Brock's Pokemon is your favorite and why? Ooh, Geodude, dude! I'm on Team Geodude, I don't know about you guys. Anyway, thanks for coming. So uh, we're here on board, playing with the detached Joy-Con. It's my preference right now. Uh, we're not going to use the Pokeball Plus yet, but don't you worry about it. We'll be, we'll, we'll be fine and we'll, we'll show that off a little bit later. But yeah, uh, we're continuing on. I didn't do any off-screen grinding or catching. It's all just straight up. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this in about hour-long increments, hour-long videos so that you guys can have a good time and watch and play along with. So did we check out the museum already? No, I didn't. Really, you absolutely have to go. All right, well, good thing he doesn't, like, drag me over there. Yo, Geodude or Onyx right now? Let me know in the comments. Geodude or Onyx? Ah, it's so refreshing. Pewter City uh, stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. All right, so a little girl and her Butterfree. Dude, we caught a Butterfree, and it was really hard. Ah, uh, there's my sweet little Free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the field. Yeah, speaking of which, where's my Nidoran? Didn't I have a Nidoran out with me? He just went back in the ball. Oh, what? Maybe he's not walking around the city? Oh, I don't know, man. Okay, weird. Okay, let's move on. A little bug catcher kid, what's up, dude? Uh, you got a better chance of catching Pokemon if you throw your Pokeball and get them right in the center. Uh, but catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Oh, dude, I'm learning that now. I'm absolutely learning that. What's up, old man? Pokemon learn moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Great, okay, thanks for teaching me that. Didn't know that. Don't know nothing about, don't know anything about technical machines. Anyway, so what do we have over here? Nothing, nothing, moving around, pressing the, oh yeah, we can chop down this tree eventually later. Okay, that's great. I do want to take my time and explore the entire areas too, because you never, oh, you never know what you're going to find. What'd you find, dude? Found something in the plants? A raspberry. Hey, that's some free item, dude. Let's go. Good job. Good job, you little Nidoran. Okay, well, let's take a look at the museum. We'll take a look at battling Brock, too, and then we're, we'll make our way through a rock tunnel. So, hey, guys. It looks like they're all triplets. Is that is that like Alima's dad? <laughs> you guys remember that in uh, in Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Hello, it's 50 bucks for kids. Would you like to come in? Uh, yeah, we got some money. What do you guys say? Show of hands in the comments. You guys want to come and uh, explore around? Yeah? Okay, so we'll pay admission. So here we go. Wow, dude. Wow, Kabutops. Awesome. A fossil of the rare ancient Pokemon, Kabutops. Can you name all the Pokemon that are on screen? Let me know in the comments. All right, whoa, check out these fossils. They're various fossils from Mount Moon. Okay, that's great and all. Wow, cool. Okay, uh, I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would see the bones of a dragon. Whoa, dragon bones? Was that Dragonite? No, Aerodactyl being a dragon? Well, I guess technically, yeah. Sure, check out that Aerodactyl. Oh man, I can't wait for Aerodactyl. It's an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh, look, it's the quadruplet over here. This month, we're running a space exhibit. Oh, oh, Pikachu, what'd you find? Don't tell me you found something on the floor, dude. Looking seriously at the Moonstone. Oh, that's so ironic. That is so ironic because he evolves into Nidoking with the Moonstone. It says it's an object that fell on Mount Moon, uh, thought to be a Moonstone. Okay, great. A Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? It looks like an ordinary rock to me. Well, is this a space exhibit? Okay, uh, a 3D hologram, it has a title, a map of the universe. Oh, you think you find the other regions? No. All right, what's over here? Hello. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. Daddy, can you please get one for me? Yeah, I'll get you a Pikachu soon, I promise. Uh, I have an extra one. I got this female Pikachu we caught. I think you and Pikachu are gonna become best friends. Uh, I couldn't take that away. I wonder if... Um, I wonder if I get rid of like Rattata. Uh, move Pokemon? No. So how do I do this? Bag? Pokemon box. What if I had a Pikachu in my inventory? 
Oh, what the? So it's removed from party, and then you put the Pikachu into the party. Okay, so that's interesting. So just kind of testing things out here. I don't know if you'd need a Pikachu or anything, but uh, here. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. Can you get one for me? No, I don't think so. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> Whatever, that's not how it worked. But we did it for science. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Pikachu, remove from party. We're gonna do the uh, Rattata. We're gonna put him back in. We're gonna add to party. And yeah, that's a good way of kind of spreading out the experience and going from there. So, excellent. Take a look at this space shuttle. Cool, it looks like an old space shuttle. Yes, it does. Uh, this, is, this looks like an old man. It has been decades since mankind stood on the moon and now we're following the dream of standing on that faraway red planet. News about space always gets me excited. Shows the origin of the universe. Okay, cool, cool. Learning a little bit about Pokemon origins. Hey, it's a microscope. Cool. It's a, a you saw a beautiful crystal when you looked into the microscope. Uh, they look like pieces of a meteor. All right, dude, I paid 50 bucks for this. Man, give me my money back. That's half a Pokeball I could have bought. I don't know. What did you get? rate the rate the museum out of 10? All of you guys that are watching right now. All of you guys that are watching, rate the museum out of 10. Hey, you. No, no. All right. The quadruplets, man. They're not really giving me anything. Sorry, dudes. Hey, how many guys know this Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Uh, I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is refusing to budge. Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke uh, company for a little while. So what do we do? We're just gonna stare at each other? Have a staring contest? Dude, you wish you can have a staring contest with a slowpoke. You spent a relaxing time with slowpoke. Did we though? That's a face only a mother can love. All right, anyway. Thank you for keeping an eye on dear slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. Oh, a big pearl, that's great. We can sell that for some money, awesome. Okay, I would love it if you could keep on Slowpoke again, uh, keep an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. Yeah, I would actually love it. If you're gonna hook me with big pearls, yeah, heck, heck yeah, let's go. Uh, have you heard the stories that say Clefairy come from the moon? People started seeing them after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo, a Pokeball over there. All right, hold on, we're gonna go get that. And then we're gonna go fight, uh, we're gonna go fight Brock. Do you think that our Pokemon team can handle Brock right now? Yeah, I can switch out Butterfree. I think that would be probably for the best. Give me that. I found an X Defense. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, go for it. X Defense. So those are battle items. You can waste one of your turns in battle in order to boost one of your stats. You should be careful with your money. Don't go blowing it all in one place. But it's also uh, fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. Yeah, see, I was exactly saying that. Like, we're gonna need to you buy 99 Pokeballs just to have them, you know? Hey, I got one too. Nidoran, sit. Uh, is it sitting? Bobo. Bobo, 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 Bobo. All right, hey, check this guy out. Uh, we got our Pokemon in a trade, so it's Finnegan, hard to handle. Pokemon that you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. If only we had some gym patches. All right, so there you go. You can't trade in your level 100 Pokemon <laughs> into the beginning of the game and have easy mode, no. Okay, so I think we're ready, guys. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to go without, I'm gonna try to go without Butterfree. And I think that should be fine. And I don't think I could go inside that room yet. So anyway, I think we're good. Okay, so here we go. We're ready to do this. We're gonna be playing this game all day, guys. So I hope that you guys will join us. Check this out. Whoa, you got participants in the audience here. Hey. Hiya, uh, you're here to challenge Jim, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if, you, uh, if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against gym leaders, rock type Pokemon. How many of you guys can name them in the comments? What are rock type Pokemon weak against? Let me see if I can name them. One, two, three, three? 
Three weaknesses? Yeah, rock? No, no, no. Four. Four. Four weaknesses. Name them. Go. Anyway, uh, you have to use a grass or water type Pokemon. Uh, you have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to. Okay, so here you go. I got Noddish, man. That was our first Pokemon we caught. Great. That Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become the Pokemon champion. Alright, water, grass, ground, and fighting. Yep. All of you guys are saying it. Good job. Definitely not ice, though. Definitely not ice. Okay, this is the Pewter City Gym. Trainers here are a bit different from those you faced so far. Oh, Steel, you're right. Rain Limb, Steel type. Well, I don't, are Steel types in this game? <laughs> like Magnemite? Or is this like old school? No, dude, you're absolutely right. How can I forget about Steel typing? I'm so old school that it's out of my brain. Five, so absolutely five. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go fight a Geo dude. We're gonna double kick him. I'm looking square at this guy. And we are, we're gonna survive. We hit two times, all right. Oh, defense girl, beautiful, beautiful. We're not taking any damage right now. Geo dude, more like Geo dud. Come here. I got you, buddy. I got you with that big double kick. Geo dud. That's the, the lyrics to the song. All right, so Oddish is growing, man. We're gonna get a Gloom in no time. Okay, Picnicker, sorry. You're quite different from the challengers I faced. Yeah, we know Double Kick on a Pikachu super early, so we have an advantage. All right, here we go. So it looks like you can bypass them if you don't want to battle them, which is kind of cool. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I mean, he may be right. Geo Dud. Yo, it's like a theme here. We've got some sort of theme team. Let's go, double kick. Dunk, dunk. Right in the face. Oh, that's a easy one. Oh, come on, that's min-max damage. Dang, surviving on one HP. With a tackle, how could you? Ouch, dude. You know what, just for that, I'm gonna give you a quick attack. Mmm, insult to injury. Not very effective, but it knocked you out. Boom! Right? No, I'm just kidding. He had one HP. It's just fun. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's go. Camper Lee, I'm sorry, dude. How many light years am I way now? Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Learn something new. Great. All right, so here we go. It's Brock time. Let's get ready to rock Brock. I should have healed my Pikachu. But I think we're gonna be okay. So you're here, I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as a rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> you're gonna challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it, show me your best. Let's get him. Yo, we're about to rock Brock. Let's go, Brock. Brocky boy, I'm here. Where are your siblings at, dude? How many siblings does Brock have? Go in the comments. You guys remember that from the anime? I thought he had like eight brothers and sisters. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it's Geo Dud. We're gonna do the double kick attack. It's super effective. You're gonna do two hits. Hopefully he does defense curl and we won't take any damage. But if he doesn't, then whatever. Tackle hurts, man. Oop! Hey, you know what? Tackle doesn't hurt. I got 38 HP, man. Let's eat this. Let's go. Come on, big max damage. Big max damage. Yes! All right, so we got the max damage roll on that one. Awesome. Super effective. Got him. Thanks for the tackle, Brock. Ooh, give me an attack boost, please. Does it show? Does it show what I get? Yeah, oh, special defensive boost. Whoa, watch out. Come on, we didn't need special defense. No, attack's pretty decent. My special attack is decent too. So yeah, you wanna le learn double team? Uh, yeah, maybe. Tail whip. 
A double team's kind of lame, but... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of double team. We don't need evasion. Like, evasion claws? No way. Sorry, man. We don't play with that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Rattata. Good job, dude. What level does Rattata evolve? Let me know in the comments. What, like 16? 20? Come on, Pikachu. Let's beat up this gigantic rock snake. Whoa. Remember in the anime when we used like a thunder shock and it totally uh, beat him up? Here we go. Double kick. Onyx has really good defense. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a three hit KO. I just have to survive two hits. Rock throw. Oh gosh. Same type of attack bonus. Ow, on my head. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. What the heck? What's your problem, man? Easy, dude. Three hit KO, we're done. Unless we get max damage on these rolls. Yeah, no. It's three hit KO. Oof! Should we hit him with a couple uh, quick attacks? No, nah, we're just gonna three hit KO. Boom! One and gone. I cannot believe that we beat Brock with a Pikachu. Like, what is this game that we're playing here? You guys thought he'd like use Earthquake and get and I'd get O code, right? No, definitely not. Okay, Pidgey wants to learn Quick Attack. Wow, I don't know if we're actually even gonna use this Mirror Move. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, get rid of Tackle. All right, GG's Brock. Give me that Boulder Badge. Yes. It seems I underestimated you. Yeah, 1920. That's a lot of money, dude. Joy-Con drop, baby. We're done. We beat Brock. That was easy. I mean, I had no doubt in my mind. We got a very special partner, Pikachu. So, as proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Yeah! You got a Boulder badge from Brock. With a Boulder badge up to... A Pokemon up to level 20 from trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you. Yeah, we got Headbutt. That was pretty cool. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as a rock. All right, well, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So uh, I think Pikachu's got Quick Attack. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to look at our TM case. I'm going to use Headbutt. And we're going to use the TM and give it to Pikachu, because why the heck not? Headbutt's really good, and I'm going to be faster, so maybe I'll be able to um, flinch the enemies. So we're going to forget Tail Whip. Yeah, it's pretty situational. You're not going to waste a turn to lower their defense. But anyway, so we got Headbutt. Yay! And then we can give Headbutt to any of our other Pokemon, but like right now, I'm not really in the mood to raise any of those Pokemon. So there. Yo, champ in the making. Just as I thought, you're the Pokemon champ material. Okay, that's awesome. What'd you guys think? Was that fun? Hey, you there, newbie. Yo, is that? That's the Gary. Don't tell me. You gotta be Abdallah, right? Uh, I am. That's amazing. How did you know that? Ah, I knew it. I'm always right. I'm blue. Yo, that music! I'm just gonna listen to this all day. The remix of, like, Gary's theme? Awesome. I heard from my Gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym uh, from an expert trainer like me, but it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Uh, so, it seems you're not so shabby yourself. I guess, uh, you've earned a reward, newbie. Thanks for the great balls, dude. That great ball... What did we say? In Pokemon, uh, Sapphire or something? Great ball something? <laughs> what was that? How many of you guys watched that Let's Play of mine? Alright, so we got the Catching Pocket. Alright, so, uh, those will be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got right there, that's a Pokedex, right? Uh, so Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. What? You better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my gramps. 
Great ball qualities, Ron. Thank you. That was it. <laughs> Smell you later, newbie. Gary was here. Ash is a loser. Right? Oh, man. That was cool. That was cool. Getting to see blue. What is this about blue scribbling on a piece of paper about all the Pokemon that he encountered? Dude, blue got a Pokedex, didn't he? I don't know, man. That sounds, uh, that sounds interesting. It sounds, uh, whatever. Well, that's a Boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Uh, when you get new gym badges, more items become available to you in the Pokemart. By the way, the Pokemart is at Blue Building. Wait a second. Pokemarts are in, uh, lots of towns, though you probably already knew that, huh? Okay, well, let's go take a look at the new wares inside the shop. If there's something new and if I could buy some great balls, then we're gonna be better off than the regular old Pokeballs. Oh, uh, what you got, buddy? Oh, yeah, I can buy some great balls. How many do I have? Five? Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy some more. Knowing me, I'll probably end up uh, tossing some on the ground. You know, forget the ability to actually go over there and pick up the Pokeballs off the ground. No, they just disintegrate in midair, so I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know how that works. But uh, Escape Rope would be pretty cool to have in case you need it. Repel would be awesome. And you've got, ooh, you got all the, uh, the battle things. So where does one get lures at? That's the thing. Like, I want some lures. I'm here to sell. Yeah, dude, here, take this Take this garbage off my hands. Like, I don't need this big pearl. Uh, sell it for 4,000 bucks. Yeah, dude, I played a painstaking match of, like, stare down against a slowpoke for that 4,000 bucks. Okay, so let's continue on, shall we? We are here, we are here. All right, so we have access to Great Balls, which is awesome. I love that. And uh, now we have the ability to head on out. Let's let's keep on exploring. Let's see if we can get to Misty on today's episode. I'm not sure if we will, but you know I'm gonna try. All right, ooh, look at you. What? Ooh, oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try your strength, you should definitely battle us. Uh, uh, what's my Pikachu looking like? 18? Oh, man, come on. Whatever, I'm not going to go. I'm just going to use a potion. Like, these potions are going to be obsolete before you know it, so I might as well use one on Pikachu. Rather than walk all the way the heck over there. And I bought a whole bunch of them unknowingly that I'll never use them. So, yeah, potions are going to be super obsolete in a little bit. Okay, uh, do you have Pokemon to battle? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Here I come. Coach Trainer. I don't know what a Coach Trainer is. Maybe it's like uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, where uh, you have some sort of trainer floating around in the area that's just stronger than the rest of them. All right, Kareem, what you got? Oh, dude, Kareem, man. Yo, Kareem, I was looking for one of those. We looked on the last episode for Bulbasaur. Raise your hand in the comments if you guys were there. Did you guys see the previous episode? I hope you did. We're going to be live streaming this entire game, so I hope you guys are all excited for it. So here comes a big headbutt. Hopefully we get a flinch. Electric is not very effective against grass. So this is a three-hit KO. Leech Seed's going to hurt. Especially on my low HP stat. So, yeah. Of passive damage. I would have been done. I would have been done with this battle. Let's do... Oh, Peck, dude. I got that big flying move. Watch out. Dunk, dunk. Quit seeding me. Okay, this Bulbasaur is a threat. Look how good Bulbasaur is, man. Get out of here. I'm not going to keep on doing that. He's not going to predict the switch and use Leech Seed again. <laughs> it's not like a competitive battler. What if he did, though? What if he did, though? Abika Abika. Oh, big tackle. I'll take that. Let's go. I just need... I need the flinch. Let's go. Give me the flinch and then I win. Dunk. Yeah! Big flinch! Ask and you shall receive. All right. So luckily we did use the headbutt TM because this battle would have gone on for a long time. Switching out the leech seed damage, switching into a new Pokemon. Dude, this is already feeling like original main series games with these battles. I like it a lot. Boom, 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 boom. You defeated a coach trainer just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. A revive? That's an insult. I'm offended. 
Revives will heal a Pokemon that's been knocked out, something a potion can't do. Be sure to use them wisely. I'm insulted that you'd think that I'd actually need to use a revive. Hey, my shirts are cool, right? You can stare at them. I'm not gonna stare at them. How about that, Calvin? And your Weedle shirt? Spiro, you're done. Game over. Go Pikachu. Launch Pikachu. Gimme that. Like, I don't honestly need to use any other Pokemon. Like, I'm kind of using the mindset of, alright, well, is this Pokemon gonna be on my team at end game? Is it worth actually using them? None of these Pokemon. You're not gonna bring a Butterfree to end game. Oh, look at his face. You're not gonna bring a Butterfree to end game. Yeah, you can bring a Nido King to end game. Yeah, Nido King is great. But odds are you're probably gonna want to ca capture a different one that has uh, a different individual move, uh, individual value set. And of course, you're just getting a whole bunch of garbage effort values right now. So, yeah, not really worried about that. Of course, this is the competitive Pokemon battler uh, coming out of me. But you know what? Play the game however you want. There's no wrong way of playing this game. That's why it's beautiful. All right. She says, excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? I did, Janice. All right, here we go. So this is the exact reason why I gave Pikachu Headbutt. For matchups like these where I don't have an advantage. So let's go Headbutt again. And let's knock him out. Give me that big flinch. That's going to be a 2 KO. Yep. Growth. Watch out. It's huge. <laughs> Remember we saw that huge Weedle in like the first episode? Oh, so much fun. Quick attack probably would have been better right here. All righty, all righty. You're mean. I'll take your Pokeballs, and I'll take your money, lady. Of course I looked at you. All right, here we go. We're moving on. Who's this? I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Well, that's a pretty interesting way of battling. Instead of doing, like, the whole, like, raising Pokemon and all that stuff, you're just like, all right, catch six wild Pokemon, and then battle me. That'd be really fun. All right, so Nidoran, uh, Nidoran, I can electric shock you, right? I can thunder shock him. He's not a ground type. He's just a poison type. Ooh, beautiful. Using that big pack. Ouch, not very effective. Sorry, buddy. All right, let's give him another thunder shock and we're gonna go. Easy. There we go. Good one. Hey, Kakuna, level nine. Almost a B drill, guys. Almost a B drill. Done like dinner. Done like stick a fork in ya? Cause you're done. All right, see you, lady. Ooh, more Pokemon. Yes. I remember. I remember in Pokemon Yellow. Oh, it's a huge monkey right there. Yo, that's a big monkey. We gotta go get him. We gotta go get him. I'm excited. Hurry up, lady. Let me beat you up, Robin. Robin Robinson, get out of here. Nidoran female, all right, cool. Two hit KO on electric, uh, on Thundershock here. Yo, did you guys see that big Mankey? Mankey's good. I'll, I'll swap out Mankey for Rattata any day. That's a dedicated fighting Pokemon. With Karate Chop, Pfft, awesome, dude. Remember when Mankey took Ash's hat? It's awesome, dude. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's huge. All right, here we go. That's it? Yeah, of course that's it. Give me your two great balls and let's go, man. I'll use your great balls on this monkey. Come here. Oh, it's huge. All right, all right. It's, it's a big one. All right, here we go. We're going to go. It's a CP46. Oh, awesome. Like, that means anything. All right, here, eat this, and then, what? Come on! All right, don't you dare tell me again. 
I'm just gonna use this regular Pokeball. What? Oh yeah, we're in this. Get off of here, Mankey. That's right. I got a big one. Okay, so yeah, Mankey's here. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna... I'm, you know, w no, once Kakuna evolves, then I'm gonna swap out Mankey. Nidoran wants to learn Horn Attack. Yeah, let's go. Uh, get rid of Focus Energy. I will do that. Okay, so once Kakuna evolves into Beedrill, we'll swap Mankey into the mix, and then we'll go from there. Did any of you guys tell me when uh, when Pidgey or Rattata evolve? Let me know what level they evolve so that we can figure that out. Okay, Mankey's data will be added to the Pokedex! Woohoo! Excellent, excellent. Agile Pokemon lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. <laughs> Won't hesitate to attack anything. Even its own tail. Alright, what do we got? Give me like... I could have sworn like Clefairy, Jigglypuff are over there. Let's see. Another kid. Let's beat him up. Pidgey's 18. Thank you, those of you guys who have said 18. Dragon Master J. 20 is Rattata. Thank you. 18 and 20. That's uh, it's quite a bit. All right, youngster Ben. Let's get him. How long has he been a youngster? Like what? Six years old? Quick attack, wow, he got that hit in real quick before I was able to knock him out with a double kick. One! To it right away. Yeah? One might say I'm a trainer. Book catcher Greg. Hey Greg, what's up dude? Kakuna, what is it gonna do? Tackle? Oh, done, dude. This pacing is perfect. Pikachu is like almost one-shotting everyone. And I didn't really spend any time catching a whole bunch of extra Pokemon. All right, there is a patch of grass over here. You could potentially get Clefairy, maybe even Jigglypuff. I don't know. Uh, I would love to get a Jigglypuff right now. That'd be awesome. I don't, I don't think I'd ever use it, but Give me like a lure or something. Like there's just rats over here. Oh, I hate rats. Anyway, who are you? Well, I'll take a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It's Route 4. Hey, it's another one of these ace trainers. All right, or coach trainers. Since there is a, uh, I'm gonna use these potions, man. Like I'm never gonna end up. I'm never gonna use these potions. I might as well have like sold them back for like half price. Hello there, I'm a coach trainer at your service. Do you wanna train a bit before taking on Mount Moon? Yeah, let's go. Mount Moon, all right, Oberon. Oberon, wow. Meowth, that's right. Ah, <laughs> cute. Oh man, Meowth is so awesome, I love Meowth. Best Pokemon right there. Too bad he's gonna get rocked. Oh, Payday taking my money! Oof. Coins scattered everywhere. Yo, what the heck, dude? One hit, two hit. Do you think I could KO him with a quick attack? I'm gonna risk it. He's fast. Dunk. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That priority, super cool. Okay, great. Pikachu grew to 14. All right, excellent work, dude. Good job, ooh, get that special attack plus one. Awesome. Okay, uh, Pokemon in waiting, you bet. Oh man, you won't have any trouble going through Mount Moon. Well, it depends on how many Zubats come out, right? It was a great battle, take this as a thanks. Hey, dude, we got Payday. Oh, tell me Pikachu can learn it. It's a move that has scattered money around that you can pick up uh, later for a, le a little extra pocket money. Please, Pikachu, can you learn that? Oh, dude, Pikachu can learn Payday. Oh, <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh, man, make that big money for me, Pikachu. He's gonna be a money maker now. Good job.
Good job. I don't think we even need... We do not even need headbutt anymore. That was short-lived. One, two, and... Poof! Okay. Yes. Headbutt is a better move than payday. For sure. A hundred percent. I'm not knocking that. Quick attack is for priority. And then, of course... Uh, ooh, Spiro! Nice! Hey, and then of course the payday is just for making some money, right? All right, let's get this bird. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Wild Spearow. Uh, we're gonna go level three. He's got green ring. Might as well toss a berry. Oh, you know what? No, he's not even worth a berry. What? Nice, I guess. I'll take nice over wasting a Pokeball any day. All right, so you caught a Spearow. Nice. This is a, this is a new Pokemon. We have not seen a Spearow yet. Hey, 12 experience points. Great. Okay. Hey, welcome, Spearow. Inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who else is coming out here? There's another Spearow. Uh, anyone? Any Clefairy? All right, let's go. Maybe we can explore some more around here, right? Hello, nice to meet you. Ouch, I tripped over a Geodude lion on the ground. <laughs> Did you really? How, not looking where you're going? I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain, on certain Pokemon, like Onyx. Dude, I need an Onyx badly. An escape rope. Remember how good Onyx used to be in uh, Pokemon Quest? Hey, what's up, P-Kappa? Thanks for uh, re-upping that sponsorship, man. Welcome. All right, I'm gonna go look one more time in this area to hopefully find a Clefairy. But if not, we're just gonna find one in Mount Moon, so forget about it. Oh, Santru, cool! Hey! Oh, that's real cool! There's your first ground-type Pokemon that you get. It's tiny, though. Wah, wah. Okay, so he is a yellow ring. So since he's got yellow ring, I'm gonna use a raspberry, why the heck not, to hopefully calm him down a little bit more. He's level five. Uh, we're gonna use our Pokeball and we're gonna get ready now. He's turned into green. I got one shot at this. Beautiful, great toss. It was just the, the ax swinging downward at it. Awesome, awesome. Sixty-four points. Oh, evolution time, ladies and gentlemen. Our first evolution caught on camera here. Yeah. Hey, whoa! Look at the. Well, look. Wow! Look at how far we've come. What cocoon is evolving? That looks great, man. Remember, it was just like a white screen, and then it just kind of flashed, and then it changed, and now look at how far we've come. Excellent, excellent, good job. Good job, Beedrill, nice. And it gives us the data. It has three poisonous stingers on its four legs and tail. They are used to jab its enemy repeatedly. All right, give me that mega Beedrill. Beedrill learned Twin Needle, cool. I won't be using Beedrill, but hey, what? Oh, and Sandshrew, hey, we're just, we're just here all day. Its body is dry when it gets cold at night. Its hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. Not really weak against water, are ya? If your coat is coated with a fur, uh, fine, a little amount of dew. All right, anyway, so we're gonna go to bag. We're gonna go and go to Pokemon box. I love that you can hot swap your Pokemon. That's so cool. Forget going to a Pokemon uh, center in order to do that. You can do this. So I'm gonna bring Mankey on board. He's level eight, that's pretty decent. And Rattata, these guys are just freeloading off the experience right now, so I'm not really ever gonna use them. I'm gonna focus on leveling up Pikachu, because obviously it's Pikachu. But yeah, I think we're set. So that was really good. That was absolutely really good. So you think in 20 minutes we can beat Mount Moon? What do you think, guys? I'm hoping we can. Let's do it. Okay, so we didn't get a chance to talk to all the people inside this uh, Pokemon Center, so let's do that. Who's this? 
Uh, if you catch a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry around in your party, but the ones you can't carry just throw in your a box. Okay, got it. Okay, thanks. Figured that one out real quick. Man. Hello there, laddie. I've got a deal. Oh, Magikarp! I'll let you have a secret. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, I will buy your Magikarp for 500. Absolutely. Hook it up, baby. You paid an outrageous 500 Poké Dollars and bought the Magikarp. Yes! Dude, we can get Gyarados so easy in the game. Oh my gosh, let's go. Famous for being very unreliable, it can be found swimming in the in the seas, lakes, and rivers, and shallow puddles. Alright, well, you know what? I like... I like Magikarp better than I like uh, Rattata, man. I'll, I'll probably... You know what? Here, watch. Oddish. I want Oddish to level up. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't need... Who? What the... Oh, it's weird. Oh, sort? You can sort by... Um, how about what's in our box? Dude, sorting options is going to be really intense right now. So, I'm going to get rid of you. Uh, we're going to remove from party. And then I'm going to put that... This dude... Magikarp. Because you get you got two options, right? You can wait until you get to the daycare center with the Magikarp and then throw him in there, or you could just passively keep him as part of your team in order to get him to level, what, 18, right? Team Rocket attacking the good people of Cerulean City and in their own homes. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news for some crime or another. Oh, uh, that's great. Hey, dude. Uh, have I got all my Pokemons on my belt? Uh, Pokeballs on my belt. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep, that'll do it. No matter how many Pokemon you have in your Pokemon box, you can only take six into battle. All right, deal. What about you? Oh, a Jigglypuff! When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. That's the Jigglypuff song. Jigglypuff. Right? It's good. That's so good. That's a throwback, man. All right. Uh, when you try to catch Pokemon, yeah, you sometimes see the green ring. That's the kind of Pokemon it's easy to catch. Yellow ring is a bit harder, and if it's red, that Pokemon will be really hard to catch. Okay, we figured that one out. That was cool. A little Easter egg about Jigglypuff and that little tune. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, so I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, we should be set. Right? Yeah, we got it. All right. Let's go to Mount Moon. Let's see if... Oh, my... What? Hey! It's a sleeping Pokemon. It doesn't seem like a Pokeball will do very much while it's in this state. <gasps> cool. If we got the Poke Flute, should we come back here and get a Meowth? Wow. Oh man, my eyes lit up when I saw that Meowth. Anyway, what's up, Geo Dud? Thanks for greeting me at the door. Let's go, Dud. Oh, get your Pokeball uh, through the moving ring and you can get a bonus for a great technique. As the ring gets smaller, that's your chance to snag a great bonus. Thanks for telling me after I caught like a hundred Pokemon already. All right, Geodude, I got raspberries to go. Is that gonna make him green? Yeah, he's not green, but... Dude, what? He punched my Pokeball, what a guy. What? Oh, that's the first A. Stop punching. Yeah! What? Dude, that's a liner! <laughs> oh, whatever, man. It's Geodud, man. Is this for a Pokedex completion here? <laughs> Alright, good job. 40 experience points. Good job, team. No one levels up. Okay, let's find that Onyx. I need a Zubat, an Onyx, a Clefairy. Uh, no Diglets in this area, but we did get a Geodude. Geodude's the best Pokemon, man. He can fly, he can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh-oh. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther in. You, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meow, you were supposed to be keeping watch. <laughs> oh, wait. So that, that was Team Rocket's Meow. We know there's rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you got any, you better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right. Come on, low battery. If anyone's gonna profit off those rare fossils, it's gonna be us. Whoa. Dude, that low battery is gonna bother me. I better switch this out. I'll switch, oh, I'll switch it out in a minute. Dude, give me this thing. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a Zubat, really? 
All right, so I'm going to switch out this controller really quick. There we go. Okay, sweet. I think we're set, yeah. How do I... Okay, can I press the home button now? Hey, we're in this. All right, cool. Don't forget your wrist strap on, right? All right, Zubat. Take me away. All right, so we're changing blue, man. I'm feeling blue. What? I don't need that. <laughs> Hot swapping controllers on the fly, man, like a champ. Here we go, so we're gonna go bag. And yeah, I, I'm just gonna toss a raspberry at him and then we're gonna go from there. Really? What is happening? Really? <laughs> Not now, game. Here we go. Dude, what? Oh, I just like adjusted my controller settings here. It's just not meant to be, man. It's not meant to be. <laughs> not meant to be. You know, forget him. <gasps> what was that? Another Zubat? I where did I, where am I getting all these Pokeballs from? I didn't even buy Pokeballs, and I have more than what I started with. Every time I'm like battling. Dude, really? What? What? Do I have a defective Joy-Con? What are we doing here? Ugh. Just not happening. Just not happening. Give me this thing. Two seconds, folks. Really? What the heck happened? <laughs> it's so weird. Like, come on now. Okay, so change grip order. Yeah. Okay, so I want to use this one now. Hence why we need, like, the Pokeball Plus. I swear if I get another little pop-up that says low battery, I'm gonna like flip my lid. Are you gonna work this time? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's get ready. What? No. Oh, now this is like a lefty controller. Alright, so I'm a lefty now. <laughs> lefty with a wrist strap. <laughs> it's not meant to be, man. All right, so here we go. What? What am I doing wrong? Please help me, Lord help me. Look, without the strap, do I not have a Pokeball chosen? What am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. The powerful bond between the Zubat and I. Please, please help me. Please teach me how to. Okay, okay. Point it at the screen. Right, right, right. With a Joy-Con, press the A button to ready a Pokeball. Throw the Pokeball by waving the Joy-Con. What? I hate motion controls. Guys, I hate motion controls. Let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about how much fun I'm having with motion controls. It wouldn't be the grip setting to horizontal. If you do anything, if you do anything, it should trigger. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did I do to this game? Help. Game. Help. 
You can throw your Pokeball by waving the Joy-Con. Look, dude, look. Uh, let me, let me, let me do this. So silly, so silly. Is it just like, okay, so now I'm gonna grab my original one that has a low battery. Oh my gosh. Did my game just glitch or what? Dude, I don't know. I, this is weird. It's like weird. Okay, so we're gonna close it. I'm gonna put this Joy-Con up, right? Okay, so now I only have a single Joy-Con. Oh, so weird. All right, so we quit. We're gonna jump back in. And then we're gonna figure it out. That's so weird. Like you guys saw, like I had my Joy-Cons all set up anyway. Press the button on the controller that you want to use. All right, so yeah, I'm cool. Uh, this is going to be left stick, others, down, but Okay, this is great. This is exact. Please leave. <laughs> Please leave. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get that off of my system entirely and we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Okay. I said, please leave. I <laughs> straight up said, please leave. All right, here we go, man. You know, maybe it's the uh, the Joy-Con issue a long time ago. There was like a thing. Dude, come on. Are you gonna make me watch this again? Get back up. Whatever. Ah, uh, the game's autosave, guys. So don't even worry about that. At least I think it is. What? What happened? Where's my save file? No! What just happened? Where's the save option? No! <laughs> this isn't happening right now. What just happened, dude? What? Unflippin' believable right now. I am beyond mad. I am beyond mad right now. Are you kidding me? What? I don't get it, man. I don't, and where's my Butterfree? What's, what's gonna happen? Oh, this is so stupid. We just beat Brock. Where's the autosave, man? This is, this is bad. You're gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon five times, but you're not gonna tell me about the save functionality in the game? Excuse me? Maybe I was on Jess's function. Maybe I was on Jess's game. Hold on a second, dudes. This is so Boglethorpe, man. You have no idea right now. I don't know, was I on Jess's game earlier? I don't know. <laughs> is this really what happened? Oh man! Only on live stream, guys. Only on live stream would this happen. Dude, what? Come on, come on, get me in. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> It is gone. All right, all right, all right. So it's gone. It is, it is straight up gone. We didn't find any shinies, so hey, let's, uh... Welcome to episode one of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee! Uh, featuring... Featuring auto-saving. And low battery warnings that are annoying beyond all belief. What just happened, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna cry, man. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. Whatever. I don't care. We're just gonna speed through it again. All right. You guys with me? You guys gonna speed through this game with me? We only played for like an hour, so we didn't lose much. All right. So, with that being said, I... I want the, the controller that has the more battery life. 
that's so silly. It's so silly. Like, what happened? I, I was reconnecting controllers left and right. I didn't get it, dude. Like, I honestly didn't get that. Didn't get it. No, we're gonna do it on screen. Here we go. So that thing's charging now, and it shows, it shows full battery, but yet it's battery flashing the entire time. What is a Nintendo Switch, guys? I have no idea. What's a Joy-Con controller? No clue. Mmm, that's frustrating. Alright, whatever. Hey, you know what? The show will go on. Dang, dude, but really? What? Because there's no autosave? Or is there autosave? I saw, like, a little Pikachu in the corner. It was, like, over here on screen. It's frustrating. But you know what? Hey, you know what? The show's gonna go on. We're not gonna dwell on it. We're gonna continue on. Anyway. <laughs> I get to hang out with you guys more now. So since we already know what's gonna happen, we're just gonna speed around this beginning part. And my level 14 Pikachu's gone. He's gone. That epic battle that I had with Bulbasaur is gone. It's okay. We get to watch this again, though. I was under the impression that the game had autosave. I played every single mainline Pokemon game. I know you have to save and soft reset this between things, but I was- I thought there was a little icon in the corner over here with Pikachu waving some Joy-Con, and I thought that was autosave. But whatever. Hey, let's go. Toro, Sicken, Psyken. Maybe you can get a Bulbasaur or a Shiny this time. There we go! That's the attitude. So let's go and play this level again. <laughs> so, where do we even start off this stream? It's been an hour, right? Where do we even start this stream? What do I look like? What's my name? Oh, what? Ugh. Playing with, like, a left-handed Joy-Con? With your right hand is weird. Alright, well, anyway. Having this weird sense of deja vu right now. I can't believe that, though. Alright, here's your boy. Uh, it's gonna be Gary again, right? We're going with Gary, because we like the name Gary. It was great. Gary 2.0, Gary 1.0. Great. Great, thank you. So, apparently, the Pikachu wave in the Joy-Con means you can have a special interaction by shaking the Joy-Con. Dude. Here's an open letter. An open letter to Pokemon. Don't force us to use motion controls. Please. I get it. It's fun, right? It's fun. It's 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 bringing the the concept of Pokemon Go where you use motion to catch Pokéballs, but don't force it on us, please. Like I hate motion controls. Give me my Pro Controller and let me play this game. Why are you going to lock me behind motion? And that menu when I asked for help, that menu when I asked for help inside the, the Pokemon catching screen, it would not let you continue or back away from the battle until you caught a Pokemon. So if my Joy-Con controllers were like no longer like working right, I would have been stuck at that screen anyway. So I probably would have had to do that. So I think the game like purposely and there was nothing I could have done about it. I, w I was locked into that. I was straight up locked into that, which is so weird. Because now that I'm thinking about it right now, it's like, dude, really? I tried to leave that little help tutorial screen and it wouldn't let me until I caught a Pokemon or at least threw a Pokeball. So what? I don't know, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Water under the bridge, man. Water under the bridge. Let's go. We're going to speed run this. Oh, can you like press minus? There's no skipping cutscenes. Okay, you can't. Yeah, we gotta look for that save option, yeah. <laughs> Watch this Joy-Con not work.
Okay. Please, please. What? What? See, like, look. On the tutorial screen, you can't go anywhere. What are you doing? Okay, point it at straight at the screen. What happened to me? <laughs> this is so weird. These are not like defective joy. These are the Joy-Con that I use all the time. What? What? Oh my gosh. I hate motion controls. I'm about to flip my lid right now. This is legit. This is legit, like, problematic. Problematic, man. This is really problematic. I don't know what's going on. You know, forget, forget being on the right side of the line with Joy-Con wrist straps, man. Forget it. I'm done. Forget it. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out together. Like, why, why are my Joy-Con not working? They are fully charged. Forget it, man. The gloves are coming off right now. The gloves are flipping, coming off, dude. Check this out. Okay, look. Four Joy-Con controllers, right? Four Joy-Con controllers. One of these will work. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna we're gonna troubleshoot this, right? Joy-Con number one. This is the pink minus, okay? Joy-Con number one, this is the one that's synced with it right now, right? Pink minus. So weird. Okay, look. Pink minus, look. It's saying, do this. Do this. Maybe it's an issue of where it's pointing at the screen. Remember, I was tossing Pokeballs like a madman before. What happened? Dude, really? Really, really, really. Look, you can do this. I can do this. And something should register. Why? What? <clears throat> okay, okay. So that was pink minus, right? I don't, I don't get it. Get it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna change grip orders. I'm gonna do pink plus right now. Okay, pink plus is up. Okay, look, pink plus is here. Look, I have access to the menu. I can press the A button or whatever. What? 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 So I say what and it works? <laughs> Excuse me? What? I didn't even press anything. I'm, I'm not. Wow. Wow right now. At least we're going to find out what happens when you run out of 10 Pokeballs with Professor Oak. I didn't even press anything. Look, look, honestly, I swear it, I swear it. Watch, watch, watch. Not even moving it. Not even moving it, and it threw it! Dude, I have haunted Joy-Con. There's a Gengar. There's a Gengar somewhere in the area. Like, I don't understand this. This is the original one that I was using, right? Remember, I was using Red Plus? Yeah, you don't hold the A button to toss. You, no, you press A to trigger the catching mechanic, and then you do it. It's, dude, I've been catching Pokemon the entire time. Don't tell me the whole day. It's just the up and down motion. What? How do you, like, recalibrate these things? I'm out of Pokeball. I'm not going to get Pikachu anymore. <laughs> dude, what? Oh my gosh, what is this game? What game are we playing here? Well, we're gonna figure this out because like some of you guys Maybe I'm just gonna repair it. How about that? You can pair controllers at any time. Here you go. Pair that. How about that? What if this happens to you guys? I mean, we're doing this for science, man. It's bogus. Like I know how to use a Nintendo Switch. You kidding me? <laughs> like what? So weird. All right, this is at like half life here. Okay, look, I have control over it. This is the plus one.
Now I'm out of Pokeballs. Oh, it, okay. it can be a bit trickier than it sounds, wouldn't you say? I'll give you some more Pokeballs, so give it another go. Okay, so you can use all of his Pokeballs and I'll give you another 10. This is real bad. Like, I remember when I threw it really hard, it went flying. But like, I tried my subtle movements and it's not doing it. And look, and like I'm locked out of the screen now. I'm like legit locked out of the screen. What is going on right now? There's nothing, there's no menu. There's no Pokeball on the bottom, where did it go? What is happening with this game? This is pretty intense right now, guys. This is, I'm like spooked. I'm like legitimately spooked. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. There's nothing to do. Professor Oak's like, yo, dude, I don't have any more Pokeballs. You just sit here and stare at that Pikachu. So that's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know I am. So what if this happens to you in the game and then you have to like exit? I don't get it. I don't get it. What is happening? All right, all right, let's try, let's try blue team. Blue team. All right, we're gonna go blue, uh, blue, blue plus right now, okay? Blue plus. Blue Plus is the only one connected on my Switch right now. And the game's soft locked. The game is legit soft locked right now. You can't do anything. There's no plus, there's no minus. None of these buttons work. You are legit locked right now. The game's like, dude, everyone's gonna catch Pikachu on their first try. So, <laughs> oh, this is so bad. That's so bad. Come on, man, I made my name and everything. What's happening? Guys, I gotta run through this game today. We can't be wasting time like this. This is the entire game. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, dude. Like, what? There goes the save functionality, too. What is going on? <laughs> Abdallah the Game Tester. This game is out, guys. This game is legitimately out for you to purchase. I bought this game. It's here. This is the version of the game that everyone gets. This isn't beta testing. I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh. Turn the switch on and off, Crunchy Otaku. Yeah, maybe a little bit later. I mean, we're gonna try this one more time, but like... Don't look at me like that. Hey, that's a female Eevee, or a female Pikachu. What? Were they always? Dude, a female Pikachu is actually here in the intro screen. That's cute. I don't know what to tell you guys. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What do you look like? I think this is the third time you asked me that, Professor Oak. Zabdala. <laughs> Abs. <laughs> I don't know how to spell my name. No, but seriously, the game's soft locked. I didn't understand that, like, at all. Dun, 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 dun. Don't tell me that. I'm tr the whole reason was I was getting bothered by that low battery thing.
Okay. I was getting bothered by that low battery thing, and then just out of nowhere, it's like, all right, well, we're just going to alert you every five seconds that you have a low battery. Oh, did you know that you had a low battery? Is there an option in the game, in the system settings, to get rid of that? <laughs> let's go, Pokemon. Uh, let's go... Pikachu and Eevee, part two. Grr, 100% I hate my console. No, dude, I love the Nintendo Switch. I just don't like forced motion controls in a game. I don't like that one bit. That does not bode well with me. It's like, imagine if they had Smash Bros. Ultimate. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna, you guys are just gonna be able to use the, uh, the detached Joy-Con and motion controls in order to jump. Doesn't make sense, why would you do that? Yeah, we're not going to bust out um, handheld mode. We're not going to do that. How would I How would I even stream handheld mode? That's not going to work out. How do I save? There's no options. Oh, 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 oh. What? There is a save function. Oh, dang it. I should have saw that. I should have saw that hard. I was under the wrong impressions in this game. You'd think that an NPC would say, be sure to save your game by pressing plus or something. Whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. We're just gonna get a fresh new start and I'm gonna get a Bulbasaur. <laughs> For real though! Like, what the heck? There is a save functionality. Yes, good job. But you know, it didn't matter because I was locked out anyway. I was locked out where the motions were not working and I couldn't get out of the help screen. So my save file was inevitably doomed. That is a design flaw. Hey, I'm gonna have a girl Pikachu now. Oh, that's so much cooler. All right, dude. When life gives you lemons, man. I'm gonna have a girl Pikachu. It's a girl. Oh, beautiful. Give me that. But knowingly, I will most likely call her a boy. By accident. You see this, right? It threw a Pokeball? It threw a Pokeball and I'm locked. <laughs> what is happening here? What is happening? Is this a joke? Nintendo, you guys playing a joke on me? What are, what are we doing here? I didn't even move the thing. I, I, I raised it up and you heard the sound effect of throwing the Pokeball and I'm soft locked. I'm gonna try handheld, man. Sorry, dudes. Nothing. I got nothing. It's the same same Pikachu without like the Pokeball on the bottom here. Nothing, dude. Handheld does not do anything. I'm pressing all the buttons plus minus all of them at the same time. This is a soft lock. I don't know, man. I was gonna start with a female Pikachu too! Okay. So, uh, any suggestions? What do you guys think? How is this show gonna go on? How is this show gonna move on? Like, the the menu's gone. Like, when you get to the soft lock portion, it's gone.
here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to, I'm gonna hard, I'm gonna hard boot my Switch right now. That's it, CP Kappa's got it. We're gonna hard boot the Switch. I guess power options? Give me a controller or something? What? Give me this. We're gonna hard boot the switch, dude. This is so ridiculous. All right, so here you go, power options. We're gonna turn off. Okay, so we turned it off. So weird. Okay, that's the that's the hard boot screen. And look. Okay. I don't know, my dudes. That was a hard boot. And uh, we're going to see we're going to see what happens, man. We're we're absolutely going to see what happens. So press A on the button you want to use, right? We don't have access to the Pokeball Plus. That's going to come tomorrow. Uh, and yeah. This is so weird, guys. But hey, you know what? We're figuring it out right now. And the fact that you guys are here cheering me on is awesome. So thanks for coming. Save before catching Pikachu. Yes, little whiz, big. Yes, Ice Kid. Sure. Yes, that is a great idea. Save before Pikachu. You are absolutely right. And now we have a male Pikachu. Come on, man. No, I want a female, dude. Ah, oh, should I soft reset for a female? Oh man, we're already here, right? Should we do it? Thanks for the donations, by the way. Thanks for the super chats, you know. It doesn't make me feel better. Throwing money at me doesn't make me feel better, but thank you, the gesture is amazing. All right. Yeah, dude, we're already here. Forget that, man. Give me that female Pikachu, dude. Like, we want that heart on the tail. It's great. And like what, how many times have we soft reset the game anyway? Dude, if you guys are going with, uh, let's go Eevee, make sure that you guys soft reset the game for your female Eevee. Just so you get that different uh, pattern on the tail. It's historic. It's historic. You're going to regret not doing it. But you can see the Pikachu. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's so easy, dude. All right, so we got the female Pikachu. That's for you, easy mode let's play. I don't think the female and male Pikachu have different voice inflictions at all. Inflections? Whatever that word is. Here we go. So yeah, all of you guys on board who have Let's Go Eevee, make sure you guys get that female Eevee. It's historic. Eevee's never had a gender, uh, a physical gender, like, tell in the games before. So make sure you guys get that female Eevee. Okay, here we go. Cubone, please, Professor Oak, you know me, right? You're not gonna ask me who I am? Like your grandson? The partner Pokemon, you are not able to get a shiny Pokemon on them. They are locked, so don't even waste your time trying. This has been confirmed. So you cannot get a shiny partner Pokemon. <sighs> Detective Pikachu movie? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait for that. All right, Gare Gare. Gare Gare. That's what we call Gizmo. We call Gizmo Gary, named after Gary Oldman. So we call him Gary for short. And then for even sh even shorter than Gary, we call him Gare Gare. And then I call him Gare Bear. And we call him Larry Boldman sometimes. <laughs> Dude, the names that you, uh, you come up with for all your cats, uh, if you guys have cats. <laughs> yeah, because you guys all have cats. No, no. if you guys have pets at home, do you guys have, like, silly nicknames for them? 
and like the nicknames evolve into nicknames on nicknames and nicknames. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna save, I promise. After I'm done waking up, like this is a dream. I feel like this is a dream. Like I've been waiting for this game to come out ever since it was released or ever since it was announced and now Gear gear. All right, here we go. Save. I cannot believe that. No, you know what? I'm going to stop feeling bad about it. The game locked me out. It wasn't anything I did. Okay, so I saved the game. We have we have the female Pikachu. We're good. <clears throat> Your cat's name is Moon Moon? No, what's like your cat's real name though? <laughs> uh, what's your cat's? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna save before we catch Pikachu too, so I don't have to worry about these cutscenes anymore. Unbelievable. So I guess it's good news because you can save before you fight Mewtwo, and if you throw your Master Ball and it goes flying the other side, then you just soft reset. Easy. I'm gonna save every five steps now, man. Ugh. Please, Professor Oak. I will I will put on my wrist strap if it if it means anything to you. I will put on my wrist strap. <sighs> Please. Professor Oak. Just let me catch these Pokemon. Alright, you female Pikachu. Cute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look, look, look. Look, watch, watch. Watch. Okay, so maybe it's something about the synchronization, right? As in, wherever the IR... I don't think this one has the IR on it, right? The other one does? Okay, so yeah, no, no, here's the IR camera, right? So if it's lined on a flat plane like this, then that registers something. Okay, here we go. Hold it horizontally, right? I am holding it as horizontal as I can and point it straight at the screen. Okay, it is pointed straight at the screen. I'm pressing the A button. With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready a, po a Pokeball. I'm doing that right here, look. You can throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Just don't forget your surroundings as you wave that Joy-Con around in place. All right, so. Please, please, please. We're in this, baby. I don't know what happened. It was it was maybe the switch. It was it's got to be the switch, dude. It's got to be the switch. Like what? Why would it glitch out like that? I'm really worried. Or maybe that was a fluke. I don't know. I I got soft lock like 3 times. I wasted all those pokeballs and then dude, all right. So we're in this. We, after an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, please. Please. But here's the thing though, guys. I don't wanna have to worry about the game breaking. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna have to worry about being soft locked out because the silly force motion controls don't work. Like, what? All right, whatever, whatever, let's go. Let's, let's speed through this, pick up your Eevee, let's battle, let's get me out of here. I gotta go back, I gotta go back to Brock, dude. And we gotta find a Bulbasaur, like, let's go. We gotta catch up. Oh, we were right about to get Mount Moon too, man. Oh, okay, okay, enough dwelling on it. Let's go. Welcome to episode one of Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. Where I have a female Pikachu now. But Abdallah, episode one, you had... <laughs> episode one, Abdallah, you had a, a male Pikachu. How do you change the gender of your partner Pokemon? You know how many questions, or how many comments I'm gonna get on that, on these episodes now? Watch. Watch. Like, did something happen to your Pikachu? Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. You can have a... Um... 
For continuity, man, maybe I'm just about to, like, not do this. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, let's get out of here, kid. I agree, this catastrophic glitch must be patched immediately. When you click on help, like, it's... It's bad. Like, when you click on help, you shouldn't be locked into the menu until you catch a Pokemon, because if your motion controls are not working, then you're done. And especially if you played a lot of the game and you didn't save, you are absolutely doomed. Your save file's gone. So good, so good. Like, trust me, I'm not knocking Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee by any means. If it if it, if it's coming off like that, please, you're thinking the wrong thing. I love this game, and I'm gonna be playing this game nonstop for the next three weeks until Smash Bros comes out. So, you got another thing coming if you think that I'm knocking this game. I've been a fan of this game ever since it was announced, so let's go. Literally, let's go. <laughs> Get it? Let's go. Okay, Pikachu. I'm gonna save. There's an Oddish right there. We need to get our Oddish, and we're gonna go. Oh, look at! Oh, that's so cute! He says, don't look at me in my Pikachu. Let's go. Oddish versus Pokemon. Oh, thank you. I don't care if I didn't get an excellent, but the fact that throwing is working, that's good. Let's go, man. Let's go. Please. Please. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would really like to... See here, I'm debating in my mind whether or not I should crop out this video. Like, because usually I leave my live streams up, right? I'm really debating on just cropping out from when we started the episode. And then, like, it's going to erase, like, all this. Like, nothing happened. That's kind of what I'm really debating on. But, like, all that footage is going to be gone then. I don't know. What do you guys think? What? It's a limp throw. What? Oh, come on. I'm good at catching. What? I'm so good at catching Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so good at catching Pokemon. <laughs> Just like tossing Pokeballs. Oh, I gotta capture all these Pokemon again, though. Oh, Oddish, man. Oddish. <laughs> all right, Wild Rattata. Let's go eat. Beautifully done. You see that motion, right? This is a working Joy-Con. My other Joy-Con are fine. Guys, I use them all the time. We play Mario Party with them the other day. I don't know what the heck happened. All right, <clears throat> buy Premier Balls. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Do you have to buy 10 Pokeballs in order to get a Premier Ball? If that's the case, I'll absolutely go buy them. Let's go, man. Premier Ball challenge hype. All right, let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee speed run right now. It's happening. Oh, never mind. You're gonna find a raspberry in the bush, go. Pika, Pika. Good job, Pikachu. Ugh, that's the sound of a rat. Hey, you know what? And we didn't talk to Team Rocket at the beginning, so hey, now we get to see that. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now. We're in the middle of guard duty and it's very important. Oh, cute. What are you doing here, twerp? Shoo, go pass through someone else. All right, so there we go. Is that a Pokeball behind him? No, it's not. Hey, Professor Oak's parcel, absolutely. Yeah, can you quickly teleport me over there? That'd be great, really appreciate that. I don't wanna run through the grass again. Okay, so here we go. Yes, I wanna head straight back to the lab. That's great, it's fast travel, boom. Super easy. All right, here we go. Go, go, go. A true partner.
We had a pretty stacked team, too. I caught every single Pokemon. <laughs> I gotta stop dwelling on it, man. I gotta stop, dude. It's just an hour of gameplay, whatever. We're here. We're enjoying the time with you guys. That's more than anything in the world, so I'm good with that. Okay, so here we go. It's Gary. Aha! Eevee is a male. Congratulations. A male Eevee. I have a female Pikachu. Eat your heart out. Yeah, that was interesting. I did notice that, that Meowth does not speak English in this version. Like, he doesn't speak, like, human language. Dude, we got paralyzed hacks on the very first attack, and he wasn't able to attack. Oh my god. Imagine if we get para hacks every time. What? Dude, this would have been the most epic part one. Para hack. Oh, I was gonna say, like, did the game freeze up again? Three para hacks in a row. Wow. This is a good Pikachu. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's so funny. Even didn't do anything. I feel so bad right now. Like, come on, man. Like, usually you can take a hit or whatnot, but no, dude. You got three para hacks in a row. That thing didn't even move. We got a lucky Pikachu. We did get a lucky Pikachu. All right, anyway. So in case you missed episode one, this is what happened. But uh, I am gonna speed through this. So if you guys wanna go take a look at my channel for, for the real episode one where we actually live streamed it and all this was very brand new to us, absolutely go watch that. But what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to try to speed up as fast as I can in order to get to Vermilion, uh, go to, or sorry, get to Viridian Forest, catch one of every Pokemon over there, use the lure in order to potentially get Pikachu's friend Bulbasaur. Good save there, I know. All right, here we go. I remember I was falling in love with this too. Hey, who's a good girl? Give me that tail. I think that... I think the female Pikachu is has a little higher voice. I think so. You guys tell me. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Nice pawing at me. Thanks. Here, eat this one. Oh, you like that one way better, huh? Yeah, that's a rare one. Good. It's gotta feed. I gotta feed my Pikachu. Motion. Motion. <laughs> That's all you gotta say right now, dude. Motion. Alright, Pikachu, thank you. Motion. That's really rough. I cannot believe I had to go through that right now. That was like a good 40 minutes of troubleshooting the game. I can imagine if that happened to anyone else in the world, like, they would, like, literally go return the game at the store. <laughs> but I bought mine digitally, so, like, what? You can't do that. You can't, like, get a refund off that. Anyway, so let's go beat up top percentage Rattata over here, and uh, we're gonna continue on. Pikachu did paralyze the switch. Loba Senji. One shot, almost. Don't show me that booty. You're getting rocked, kid. Good times. I agree, Angela. The female Pikachu is a little cuter. What do you guys think? They have the exact same like animations, right? Hey Gary, I just beat up a trainer. You wanna tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, I did, I did. Okay, so luckily for us, we don't have to worry about wasting money on potions. Hey, we saved a little bit of money, right? Find the, uh, the small things in life, right? I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and I'm gonna attempt to buy 10 Pokeballs and see if they give me a Premier Ball. That'd be pretty great.
Hey, nice! Nice! That's what I'm talking about! Hey, man, thanks for that, dude. Yes, they kept it in this game. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Alright, so for those of you guys who don't know, Premier Ball is my favorite Pokeball. It has the same capture rate as a regular Pokeball, uh, so the challenge factor is built into it, but it's got this very sleek white detail on it. So I, I straight up love Premier Ball, so... Most likely, I am going to be capturing my legendary Pokemon in Premier Balls, because why the heck not? So we'll see about that. And I'm wondering, like, how hard that's actually going to be in this game. I wonder how hard that's going to be in the game. I caught a Nidoran over here, didn't I? Oh, where's my Nidoran? That's a Caterpie. Come on, man. Oh, I gotta do it. Okay, anyway. You know what? Let's go. Two Caterpies. Plural of Caterpie is Caterpie. All right, Caterpie, little guy. What happened to my huge Weedle, man? My huge Weedle's gone. I don't know if I'm gonna get another one as big as that one. I <laughs> shed a tear for huge Weedle. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, man. You can't relive that stuff, dude. If you buy 20, you will not get two Premier Balls. At least from older generations. I haven't tested it here, but typically no. You have to buy it 10 at a time and then get them. So, uh, how many guys fans of my previous Pokemon Let's Play episodes? Raise your hand in the comments. Have you guys seen like Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon uh, Sun, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire, Omega Ruby? You guys know that in post-game, I use Premier Balls to catch every single Legendary, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was super fun. It was challenging, but like this is going to be a little different due to just how this works. Like, am I going to have to get, like, the best berry in the game and then, like, throw the best berry in the game and then throw a Premier Ball, like, and then on an excellent toss and then that's the equivalent of this game? It's interesting. I can't wait to find out. I'm going to do it. But, uh, yeah. Weedle, 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 weed, weedle, weed, weed. Weedle, 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 weed, weedle, weed, weedle, weed. Caterpies, come on, man. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I didn't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna do something I didn't do before. Wait a second. No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, oh, that was Weedle's cry. Anyone besides Weedle? Let's just go to the forest, dude. I'll find a Nidoran in the forest. Maybe, maybe I'll find a Nidoran in the forest. Or maybe just Nidoran's exclusive to this area, just like in Pokemon uh, Yellow. I don't know. We're just gonna do it again. That's a Kakuna. It's a tiny one. All right, so hope and pray for a Bulbasaur spawn. That's a Pokeball. Oh, two Premier Balls looking straight at me, man. Let's go. Not bad. Yes, everyone level up. Pikachu, you gotta get to like level 10 at least to beat Gary. Or sorry, to beat Brock. That's the whole team. Everybody's here. Do -do 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 -do. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, da -na -na -na. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. I have a Pidgey, I have an Oddish. I'm looking for a Bulba, please. Nodish for a Bulba. No, dude, I need that Nidoran too. Like, I gotta go get a Nidoran. That's like, it's mandatory. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can uh, turn combat animations off. I think that would be really cool and beneficial with speeding up the process. The team is almost back again, guys. The team is almost back. I gotta leave. I don't think I can find Nidoran in the forest. Like in the demo, you can find him in the forest, but I don't think that's a thing here. I will be looking for a Metapod and a Bulbasaur, dude. There's gotta be a Bulbasaur here. And we caught a Butterfree, remember? We caught a Butterfree, it was awesome. Ah, I don't need a Pidgey. 
But, uh, oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah! Beautiful. It's like, drop the hammer down. That's exactly the motion that you have to do. Hammer time. Good, thanks for the experience on the excellent caught. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Like a one times 3.3 .3 multiplier? Great. 43 experience points? That's a lot. That's like half a level up for these guys. Good job. The shiny looking Pidgey. Dude, what if I found a shiny here? Would that be crazy? Hey! Give me that Pikachu! That's another female Pikachu. We'll take him. Her. Don't! Don't do that. Stop! Doink! The most excellent of excellence. Alright, Paradox. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get a Bulbasaur. That lure, though, that lure is just so... Like, I wish you could just find... Um, I wish you could find lures or at least buy them or something, you know? Okay, so Pikachu learning that big double kick. We're gonna do it right now, which is fine. Give me one more level up on Pikachu, and then I'm gonna go beat up Brock super easily. And then we can restart the live stream two hours later. <sighs> we won't restart. I'll just pretend to restart, and we'll go from there. You guys are cool, right? <laughs> we'll leave this whole glitching thing between you and I, right? We don't have to tell the world that the game was glitched at the beginning. Don't worry about it. it never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. We're just starting our game right now. Okay, I gotta go get that Nidoran. I don't think I remember ever seeing a Nidoran in the in the Viridian Forest. Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Oh man, we're in this! Okay, 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 here, dude. Pikachu, why did you eat that good berry, man? Hey, we got it, we got it. Oh, in a premier ball. Wait, wait, Panap Berry makes you slightly more likely to get an item when it's given to your Pokemon you're trying to catch? I don't care about that. Give me, like, capture rate. Slightly. Ah, uh, calms while, okay, here we go. I can't, I can't miss this premier, I only have two premier balls, baby. Oh man, it's going so slow with the pin app. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Nice! That's what I'm talking about! Bulbasaur, welcome to the team, man. We got him! Oh my gosh, we got Bulbasaur. Oh, that was so good. So good. So good. We got Bulbasaur. That's great. <laughs> that was a starter, man. Great, it can go for days without eating a single morsel. The bulb on its back, uh, it stores energy. It's cool, man, it's cool. That's real cool. Oh, that's a big Pikachu. Ah, come on, one does, wasn't, one does not simply walk away from a huge male Pikachu, right? That was cool, man. That was real cool. Sorry that I was yelling really loud, but... <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I'm not wasting my last Premier Ball, dude. And we got the Bulbasaur in a Premier Ball, man! Yo, you can never get... Unless you're breeding. No, you can't... I don't know, I don't... Don't quote me. Here we go. I don't care. Doink! That's right. That's right, Jenny. We got it. We got the female Pikachu. We got the Bulbasaur. Now all I need is like a shiny Pokemon and we're just gonna call it a day. Oh, save the game! Save the game! Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna go save the game right now, thanks. I, I may need to do that now because I get afraid that the game will just stop working on me. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Now I'm living in fear of the game breaking on me and that's not a good feeling. Oh dude, I gotta get Bulbasaur into my team. Get these guys out of here. Get these bottom- Oh my gosh, what? What is happening here? Yo, the evolution. Dunna na, dunna na 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 na. Oh, thanks, P Kappa. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> it hardens itself to predict itself a large impact. Okay, cool. 
No. Oh, what are you gonna learn? Harden. Hey, there we go. No, the whole glitching situation was really freaking me out. Like I thought that something, something was happening that was like out of my control. I started to get a, a little afraid of like ghost type Pokemon inspiriting my uh, <laughs> my game here. All right, so let's save. I'm gonna go uh, Pokemon box it. We're gonna do this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you. I think you're a waste of space. Uh, ooh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. That was really mean to say, I'm sorry. All right, so here we go. I got Bulba. Um, Metapod level seven. Yeah, I'll keep you. And uh, Oddish. Yeah, yeah, I think we're I think we're set. Let me go get that Nidoran mail, and then we're gonna come right back in, and we're gonna we're gonna continue on. We lost a little bit of time, but hey, we got a Bulbasaur out of it. We got a Bulbasaur early. That's the thing. Like you're going to get the gifted starter Pokemon. You're gonna get them, just like in Pokemon Yellow. But the fact that we got the gifted, um, or not the gifted, we got the wild Bulbasaur was really cool, and I, I enjoyed that one a lot. So good on you guys. Good on you guys. Need to run mail, please. Asking you shall receive. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. I wonder if you can get Mankey in here, too. All right, need to run mail. Uh, yeah, I'll just throw a Pokeball at you. You're fine. Ooh, that was mm, a millisecond off. We're okay. That's fine. I don't need the multiplier bonus. I'm okay. Just give me the Pokemon. What the heck? Oh, come on, man. Dunk? Right on his horn with the excellent toss. I think I shouldn't save. What do you guys think? I should keep on writing it without saving. What do you think? Are people telling me to save in the comments? No, I don't see any of that stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, hey dude, we got him, we got him. Let's put him in our team. Let's get rid of Pidgey. I don't ever need Pidgey. I'll find a wild Pidgey audio. I'm sure I will. All right, here we go, Pokemon box. Get rid of Pidgey, see a goodbye, nice knowing you, remove from party, and we're gonna go Nidoran, put you in party. All right, ooh, I can breathe free now. There's a Spearow, it's huge! What? Okay. Got him. Beautiful. <laughs> Change the color of the Joy-Con. The red one looks good, dude. But blue's my favorite color. I love the blue Joy-Con. The blue Joy-Con's working for me right now, and it's fully charged. So I think we're, I think we're okay. I don't even want to risk it, man. I don't even want to risk it. It's good. I got a Bulbasaur, and that's all that matters. So let's Bulbasaur it up. Hey, Weedle's evolving. Yo, double evolutions here. I love it. The the animations are just really, really spot on. They're they're very crisp. I like watching them. They're good. Okay, Kakuna. We still need that bee drill. We still need that Butterfree. Uh, I I don't really need to use a lure. Yeah, I don't really need to use a lure. Uh, oh, you know what? Since I got the rarest Pokemon inside Viridian Forest, I'm gonna save the lure from Mount Moon so that we can potentially get an Onix or potentially get a Clefairy in case we don't get them. So using the lure is going to be a waste right now unless you're trying to get a Bulbasaur. I am having fun now. This is gonna be a three hour live stream. You guys realize that, right? This is gonna be a three hour live stream. One hour to play through up until Mount Moon. One hour of troubleshooting, <laughs> troubleshooting and replaying the game. And then one hour of actually doing episode two. It's gonna be pretty intense, so. Last, Joanna. What was the joke that I made of Joanna's name? <laughs> I'm so funny. Nice. 
Miss Kick A, thanks for enjoying the live stream. I'm glad you like that. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Ooh, save the lure for a Chansey chance? Where does Chansey come? Uh, Knight, Bane, Hardy? Where does, where's Chansey found? And I'm sure in the game you're able to purchase more lures. I'm sure of it. But like, I don't know where or when, so we'll figure it out. Thunder Shock. Oh, Chansey in the Safari Zone? There's no Safari Zone in this game. The Safari Zone is, uh, replaced with Pokemon Go Park. Which, I have, I've gotta go play Pokemon Go on my phone again. I haven't played Pokemon Go in since, like, the first update. Oh, man. Alright, so we beat up Youngster Joey. Ooh, give me that. It's a potion or something. That's what I don't like, either. Like, if you're playing with Detached Joy-Con, like... You have to let go of the control stick in order to press the A button. Unless you're playing like this, which is weird. <laughs> I guess you can play like this. Yeah, you're all right. I mean, sure. Or you play like two-handed with one hand. Like that's not how you're supposed to be playing this, but to each their own, am I right? To each their own. Chansey is in the route north of Vermilion. Interesting, I'll take a look around. Or maybe I'll save the lure for Dratini when we get there. Ooh, right? Hey, it's a female. I like shorts. They're easy and comfortable to wear. <laughs> You're right. That's funny. All right, here we go. Thundershock. Brock, dude. Brock on ya. We just got to make our way through here. And I think I have all the Pokemon up to where I need to be, right? I don't need to waste my time catching tinies or bigs or anything like that. We just need to beat up all these Pokemon, beat up all the Pokemon trainers, and then win. Ah, <laughs> that last has sass. <laughs> Crunchy. <laughs> That's funny, man. That last. All right, here we go. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm going to be at, like, level 11 by the time I fight Brock. Dude, I got a female Pikachu now. And I got a Bulbasaur early. You know, I'm not going to use the Bulbasaur in any way. Like, I mean, we're not going to use it. Unless I absolutely need to. Like, against that one coach trainer, right? We'll do Bulbasaur against Bulbasaur. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, Dugit. All right, I don't want to step on anyone. Out of the way, trees. So if I could find a Beedrill floating around, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so that way I can ditch Metapod and ditch Kakuna and just go from there. No, I think I think we're set. I'm I'm actually really happy now. Good things, you know, things happen for a reason. And we got a Bulbasaur, so that's great. Pikachu! Where's Squirtle at, though? Has anyone found like a wild Squirtle? I'm curious about that. Like I heard about Charmander and Rock Tunnel and everything like that, but um, I want to find out where Squirtle is. And don't tell me about in Vermilion City, Nurse Officer Jenny. No, that's not what I want to hear. I want to hear about wild. Ooh, out of the way. Sorry, dudes. I think I'll do one more trainer battle. Dude, remember when that Bulbasaur just came out? Yeah, I think if I destroy this Metapod, I think I could be at level 11 prior to Brock. Oh, come on. Come on, Focus Sash Metapod. Whoa, a Metapod actually doing some work. Yeah, right.
Okay, so I have to go catch a couple more Pokemon. I'm gonna go capture a couple more Pokemon, uh, and then we're gonna go from there. So let's, let's see that. Kakuna is pretty good. I have a Pokemon to catch, absolutely. A wild Kakuna. Get ready, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Doink! Got him. One, two, you're done. Three, in. Thank you. Pikachu! Hey! Level 11 Pikachu. Good. Good. Need that. Need that stat boost. Bulbasaur level 7. Bulbasaur evolves at what? 14? 14 for Bulbasaur? Yeah. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Oh, man. Two hours. Two hours. But now we're gonna start this up. We're gonna start this up. And I'm gonna do the whole tour, and we're gonna go look into Slowpoke's eyes. We're gonna do all that stuff. Uh, just to, just to make sure that we have that all on footage, because I want to continue on. Did I do this part in episode one? What did I do in episode one? Did I just stop right there? I'll have to look at it. Did I go up to this? No, yeah, I went into the Pokemon Center, and I did a couple of those things. Okay, got it, got it. All right, here we go. Episodic, man. You gotta keep it, you gotta keep it episodic. For all of you guys that are not watching live, you gotta keep it episodic for those that want to watch it, like, in a nice fluid motion, so. Anyway, thanks for understanding. Here we go! Look, 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 watch this. Let me go, let me go heal, and then we're gonna stand outside the Pokemon Center, and two hours later, we're gonna start on the episode! <laughs> uh, you guys are all special to me, seriously, you guys are all special. All of you guys that have been here for two hours, watching this, the real struggles of this game. Like, I struggled harder than I've ever struggled in any Pokemon game. <laughs> with the controls that soft log it was intense all right so here we go <laughs> Woo, man it's like deja vu over here all right so we're in this <laughs> i'm ready baby <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny oh uh, give me two seconds uh. okay so here we go man i gotta like take a drink of water after that one <laughs> it's like what the heck just happened? Oh, Pikachu! Pikachu can't st sit still and wants to move around. All right, that's cute. You can do that. What do you want to do, buddy? All right. Oh, what a cute little Pikachu. Well... Okay, we you guys ready to re record this now? <laughs> oh, wait, we're live the whole time? What do you mean? <laughs> Alright, let me let me do this here. Oh, is that how you clean your cheeks? Alright, here we go. Cute. Oh, you don't like that? I'm sorry! I don't know what you like and what you don't like. Look at me use motion! Motion, guys. Motion. Oh, motion. Let's talk about motion really quick. Alright, here we go. Right at the two hour mark. How, how ironic is that one? Welcome back everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Why am I so happy? Well, some crazy things may or may not have happened off screen. <laughs> Our Pikachu is now a female and we have a Bulbasaur, which is pretty cool. So let's go do that and let's... <laughs> Only a select few of you know exactly what happened. And you guys will always remember what happened. Anyway, so we got a Bulbasaur. We caught him in Viridian City, so... Or Viridian... Viridian Forest. And now we got a Pikachu. So let's do this. Female Pikachu, we're good. Let's go. So uh, what's interesting about this town is that there's a lot of NPCs over here. You can talk to the NPCs if you want to. Uh, there's really nothing notable in the area other than this little bush that we need to go to in order to access the other side of the, uh, the museum here. There is a museum on board. You can absolutely pay some, uh, some money for it. Uh, I think we're gonna do it. Do you guys want to see the museum again? I don't know. We, should we skip it? Should we watch it? What do you guys think? These quadruplets over here. <laughs> oh, that's the old amber, right? What comes out of old amber? Uh, Aerodactyl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, oh, we need to take Bulbasaur out of the Pokeball. Thanks for the suggestion. All right, so let's go. We're gonna take out Bulbasaur out of the Pokeball. Uh, we're just gonna go party. Uh, let's see, uh, Oddish, Metapod, Bulbasaur, we're gonna take out a Pokeball. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, this is the first time that we're gonna go inside the uh, the museum. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, let's go pay the 50 bucks, and uh, I want to show you guys what's exactly uh, what's going on in here. So, as you guys can see, we got a Kabutops. Pretty cool looking, right? Kabutops. Oh, ooh, that's right. We're gonna get a couple fossils by the end of this episode, aren't we? Various fossils from Mount Moon. We got an Aerodactyl replica. You got an old man who's older than time itself. Uh, yeah, he's, he's some old dude. The bones of a dragon. That's right. Aerodactyl being a dragon, which is kind of interesting. Never thought about that. You got this guy over here. And, uh, ooh, hey, it's an object that fell on Mount Moon, thought to be a moonstone. Cool. Hey, little boy. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. I wonder how many moonstones we're going to be able to find inside Mount Moon. So this is a map of the universe. A uh, little girl wants a Pikachu, and Daddy is promising to get a Pikachu for her. Great. Uh, we have a cool looking space shuttle. Awesome, awesome. There's an old man staring at this thing. He's just like, oh man, it's just so old. All right, great. He's very excited about that. We got a microscope. Oh, a beautiful crystal when you look in there. And of course, we also have pieces of a meteor. So that's it. And that's kind of lame, to be honest. 50 Poke Dollars? Man, that's half a Pokeball. So we'll see. We shall see. Uh, but hey, you know what? Whatever. Keep the change. Keep the change, you quadruplets. Doesn't matter to me. All right, young one, what do you got for me? Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you'd do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Uh, I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is refusing to budge. Slowpoke. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, so now here, we're going to do a staring contest, and I want you guys to stare with me, okay? Watch. So we're all going to, like, blink really quick, and then we're, as soon as Slowpoke comes on board, we're going to stare into the screen, and the first person who blinks loses. Ready? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Once it cuts. Okay, now. Staring contest, go. I'm looking at you. I'm not blinking. Okay, I feel a blink coming. I feel a blink coming. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, blinking hurts! <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> Did you guys last longer than me? Ah, uh, because I couldn't, man. I was about to die right there. No way. Ouch. Why even do that? Why even do that? I totally lost. <laughs> All right, so we got a big nugget. Uh, a big nugget can be used to sell uh, inside a shop, so you're good. Did you guys win? <laughs> I lost, man. I couldn't last five seconds. All right, so here we go. We're going to go battle Brock. Our comment question of the day is going to be, which of Brock's Pokemon is your favorite? And let me know why. Are you guys on Team Geodude or uh, on Team Onyx? And doesn't he also have a Zubat and a Vulpix? some other Pokemon, so let me know in the comments. Woo! Woo! Man. Okay, so he wants to see a grass Pokemon, which is kind of uh, an entry fee in order to battle him, so that's good. Here we go. Let's go battle. Now, you'd think that you want to battle with your grass Pokemon and have the type advantage, right? But no, we don't need that. Not here at all. We definitely do not need that. Uh, I'm using Pikachu against Geodude, which normally is something that you don't want to do, considering the fact that Geodude typically has very strong defense, and regardless of if you're able to double kick him, he should be able to survive. But this is the first gym leader, so you can easily go through and knock out Geodude and everyone in this with double kick, provided you got your Pikachu up to level nine, which by the time you get here is pretty standard. Or if you want to breeze through it, use your Bulbasaur that you found, or your Oddish, or your Butterfree, or anyone. It doesn't matter. Okay, so very simple. We did that, and then now we're going to go do it again. It's kind of like insult to injury, you know? It's like, I'm going to beat you with a Pokemon that you're strong against me with, you know? It's kind of fun. Anyway, Camper Liam. All right, Pikachu. Oh, that! Wait, hold on, hold on. This little symbol? Wait, what the heck was that? I've never done that before. Pika Papal? What? All right, great. I saw like a Pikachu doing something and it... All right. 
All right. That was cool, though. But apparently it's an electric-type move, so we're okay. Pikachu's surefire move, right? It's gonna hit. Not, <laughs> it doesn't affect enemy Geodude. What? So much for surefire. Like, what the heck was that? Spanking that Geo Dud. Get him out of here. Dun 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 All right, Brock. Time to get rocked. Here we go. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. Wahaha, you're gonna challenge me even though you'll know that you'll lose. That's what a trainer's honors demand. So be it, show me your best. Okay, well, luckily for us, we've got double kick. That's all we need to do. Ah! <laughs> all right, that's not even Geodude's final form. All right, here we go, Geodod. Eat this double kick. So, one can opt for using Tail Whip beforehand, but it's gonna be a two hit KO either way, provided min max damage. So, we're gonna take this tackle from Brock. Boom! Big tackle for five damage. Watch out! Watch out for the five damage tackle, Brock. Dunk and dunk. Big foot. Get him out of here. Okay, about to send out Onyx. We are not going to switch. Double kick time. Oh, right in the face. Dang, can you imagine Pikachu jumping up in midair and like doing a kick on him twice? Ugh, <laughs> that just animation <laughs> looks so funny. He's just like, doink. Ugh, what the heck? Who threw a singular rock? Who throws this rock? Honestly. So it's a three hit KO. Easy. Watch, watch carefully. Doink. <laughs> so silly looking. Easy breezy, beautiful Pikachu. That's right, my Pikachu's a girl. That's right. Beat your heart out. Brock. Easy level up, man. Got him. Okay, Pikachu to 12, awesome. Wants to learn double team, we're gonna skip out on double team. We don't need it. Playing with evasion moves in this game, not really worth it. Oddish grow into 11, awesome. Kakuna at eight. Uh, Nidoran seven, awesome. And yeah, there we go. I, it seems I underestimated you. Great, so thanks for the smile, Brock. Thanks for that, dude. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. Big high five. Cute. With a boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. That's gonna come in handy. I have a premonition. <laughs> I have a premonition that headbutt's gonna come in handy for some reason. I wonder why. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as a rock. Okay, beautifully done. We're gonna go to our bag. We're gonna teach Headbutt to our Pokemon. And, oh no, not Pokemon Box, I'm sorry. We're gonna go over to TM case. We're gonna go Headbutt. We're gonna use this TM on Pikachu, and it looks like maybe Bul Bulbasaur can learn it too, or maybe not, I don't know. I definitely don't need Tail Whip, so we're gonna get rid of that. And then Bulbasaur, hopefully Bulbasaur can learn it, because that's a really good move. Yeah, yeah, Bulbasaur learns it, so let's use it again. It's better than Tackle, that's for sure, so you might as well teach it to all your Pokemon. So, here we go. So that's our first technical machine. Awesome, there's 60 technical machines in the game. We will be collecting every single one of them. This! I thought this meant it was auto-saving. Pichu's so excited it's jumping up and down. Well, aren't you the cutest little girl? Aren't you the cutest? You baby. 
Yeah, you did pretty good, Pikachu. So here, you know what? Here, eat this one. I don't really like these berries. Good job. Here, have one of these two. What a cute little Pikachu. All right, let's go. So we beat up Brock. That's great. Brock was rocked. And uh, hey, you there, newbie. Don't tell me you got to be Abdallah right. How many guys know who this is? Any new viewers out here that just tuned in? Oh, man. I am. It's amazing. How'd you know that? Oh, yes, yes, Mario fan. Thank you for uh, enlightening me on that one. Uh, I knew it. I'm always right. Uh, I'm blue. Best music right here, by the way. I love it. Uh, I heard from Gramps uh, that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to be the gym uh, from an expert trainer like me, but it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Got him. Those would be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing right there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil where I encountered Pokemon. You do a better job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. I like the rework of Gary. OG Gary. I like how he looks. I think that's really, really so right now with my Bulbasaur and Pikachu, we're going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center and then we're going to make our way all the way through the next area and hopefully get to Mount Moon and finish that up before the next episode. I'm going to use my lure inside there because I want an Onix, I want a Chansey. Dude, if you got a Chansey, that's an end game Pokemon. Seriously, it is. If you get a Chansey, that's end game. You put a Chansey on your team as like a special sponge. Defensive stat and her HP is through the roof, Chansey. So I'm really excited if that's the case. All right, so we didn't talk to these people in here. Let's talk, let's talk to them. Pewter City Specialty. Pewter Crunchies are 500 bucks. One package a day. Yeah, dude, let's go. I'll buy candy from a stranger. You wouldn't? <laughs> Thanks, they're very hard, so be careful. Pewter Crunchies, eh? All right, that's, that's great. Thanks for those. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Hold on, I have a Pikachu. Stop the trade! <laughs> Mine's better! <laughs> I'm trading with the girl next to me. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Okay, we should be good. Alright, I don't know what happened there, but hey, we're back. Thumbs up if you can see me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, give me thumbs up. Click on refresh and we should be all set. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. All right, anyway, we're gonna buy 10 Pokeballs. Okay, so we got a Premier Ball for doing that, and then, of course, I'm gonna buy some Great Balls. We might as well buy three of these guys, and uh, we're good. Okay, so looking good, looking good. I spent a lot of money over there. Uh, there's really nothing else you wanna explore inside the Pokemon Center, or so, sorry, the Pokemart. So now we are going to continue on our quest. So let's do it. Hey, Youngster Joey. See you, buddy. They're all Youngster Joeys. All right, take a look over here. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. All right, you should definitely battle us. All right, here we go. One of the things that some of you guys are requesting is to dress up Pikachu. That's right, we did get this. So let's do sports cap and let's do clothes. Pikachu, what a, what a, what a good little Pikachu there. Looking cute, dude. All right, let's fight. Let's see how strong female Pikachu is. Very strong. All right, Kareem. We're gonna Kareem, Kareem. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Yes, ah, oh, the best, man. Ah, uh, let's Kareem him. With a big headbutt with a flinch. Yes, yes, that's it. 
That TM coming in handy. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. A doink. Oh man, flinch hacks for days. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Dude, that's the worst. That's actually the worst feeling. Tr trust me. Like if you're in a, in a competitive Pokemon battle and you get flinched, that's the worst feeling. Rock slide flinches for days. Oh my gosh. Oh man, so let's get rid of Grawl. Alright, got that money for winning. I love it, I love it. I might want some more of it. I just might. And of course, we get a revive, which is great. Could be like a backhanded compliment. Like here, you won. Here's a revive. You'll need it because your Pokemon are going to lose, right? <laughs> All right, little kid, I hear you like comfy shorts. Don't worry, I got you covered. Okay, here we go. Pikachu with that hat. And we're just going to Thundershock. It's going to be easy. We'll make it. Is it wor a worse feeling than when your Joy-Con gets glitched out, BWA ass? No, there's no worse feeling than that. Getting soft locked on motion controls? No way, man. You guys know me, I love motion controls, dude. When it comes to playing Super Smash Bros, <laughs> I use motion controls. When it comes to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'll use motion controls. Dude, I'm a proponent for motion controls. Please put motion controls in all games moving forward. Is that an unpopular opinion? <laughs> oh, I love motion controls. Let's go. Why isn't there motion controls for selecting the move? I should be able to like press down, 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 then up, and then swing to the side to... <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. I promise. All right, here we go. It's an, it's an Oddish. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to do a headbutt. Good job. Oh. Excellent. All right, we got three Pokeballs. So, see, here's what I like, right? I like the fact that when you battle a random wild trainer, you can access prize Pokeballs. You just get Pokeballs for winning. And that's a great way to offset the, the cost of buying Pokeballs in the game. That makes sense. Shock him. Ooh, twice. Pack. Nice. Nice big pack. Nice type chart there, kid. <laughs> nice type chart. You got a non-stab attack that's not very effective against Pikachu. Wow, that's like the worst move you can do, kid. I'm glad to actually take his Pokeballs, and I'm glad, uh, or that's a girl, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm glad to take your Pokeballs. And your money, too, thank you. All right, here we go, Spiro! Oh, man, dang. Maybe we can get a Clefairy out here. I remember when I was playing this game in middle school, there was like, you can find Clefairy and Jigglypuff in the grass here, so I'm hoping that they kind of uh, kept that. That'd be really cool. Alright, here we go. Get that big Nidoran female. We're going to shock twice. And we're gonna call it a day. I'm good, Nathaniel. How are you? Thanks for coming. Thanks for enjoying the live stream. We got a nice crit. It's a one hit KO. We are going to, yeah, pretty much stream this for another, what, 30 minutes? And then we're gonna get set up for the next episode. Okay, little kid. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. Is this the youngster Joey? Did I miss that somewhere? No, no. It's his, it's his twin brother. Yeah. 
You know what's interesting is that there's only like a small handful of uh, of enemy trainer models in the game. And they're just like, they're so reused. Like you would think that spend a little bit more time maybe changing their eye color, right? Maybe change their eye color, maybe change the color of their hat, color of their shirt, color of their shorts and shoes to make them a little bit more different, different than rather than, than copy pasting every single, oh, you want a youngster over here? All right, cool, clone, drop. You know, oh, you want a lass? All right, cool, clone, drop, like, I don't know, that's one of the things that I, uh, that I, it's like such a beautiful game, right? Pokemon's a beautiful game, but like these smaller details, I think it's just an oversight. Like the same bug trainers, the same colored shirts, same colored eyes, like, is that a, is that an unpopular opinion? Or you guys just don't pay any attention to it? You're just like, all right, get the battle over with, give me my experience, and let's keep on going. How do you guys feel about that? Aaron Jones, I feel like it's not even laziness at this point. It's like they feel like that's the legit way to do it. Like, are they so out of touch? I don't know. I don't know. How did you guys see that? How did you guys see that? Honestly, I have no idea how you guys saw that. Truly, I have no idea. I... I did not... Oh, Bulbasaur, what do you got, buddy? Where did you go? Thanks, bud. Nice, good job, good job. Okay, anything in here? Okay, oh, ma yeah, Mankey! Yeah, oh, dude, I got excited again. <laughs> again, what? Oh my, where did you go? Where did they go? Oh, there you are. He's coming to take my hat. He's coming to take my hat. You little monkey. Come here. I got 102 Pokeballs. Wow, the cap does not stop at 99. Good to know. And remember, I only bought like 20 Pokeballs. Like, we're getting Pokeballs from beating up all these trainers. I don't know if I saved, guys. Man. Gotta get the Mankey. Got him. It's not a huge one, but it'll do. Ooh, almost close for, to leveling up uh, to level 10 for Kakuna and Metapod. Awesome. Bulbasaur is at 10. Great. Nidoran at 9. All right, team's looking pretty good. Nidoran wants double kick. All right, you got it. Get rid of focus, and we're going we're gonna to keep going. Oh, yeah. We got to go get uh, that Pokemon Center up above. Yeah, yeah. What's in the Pokemon Center? Mankey, hey dude, agile Pokemon that lives in trees that angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Okay. Uh, Spearow, no thanks. Uh, the way. Uh, you're taking a breather. I'm going to not go to you yet. Not gonna go to you. We're going straight to the Pokemon Center to heal up and get a good deal. I heard there's a good deal in here. I heard there's a good deal. Hello there, laddie. I've got just a deal for you. What? What do you mean? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon. Magikarp for 500 Poké Dollars. So you'll buy it, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, bald stranger. You paid an outrageous 500 Poké Dollars for a Magikarp. Why was that outrageous, dude? Like, that's five Pokéballs. You know what's actually outrageous? The, the fact that a... Oh, it's a small version? Dude, I got ripped off. Now that is outrageous. Oh, absolutely. Because now I'm going to get a small Gyarados. All right, so that, yes, that was absolutely outrageous. That was so outrageous. Uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, Oddish. Eh, sorry, Oddish. Getting a Magikarp is a little bit more of a priority onto the team. It's a female Magikarp, if that means anything. Don't like the male and female Magikarp uh, have like different lengths in their whiskers. Is that like the tell? Like Alakazam, uh, or like Kadabra. Ooh, what is this guy? Like Alakazam and Kadabra or whatever. They have like longer mustache if they're male and shorter mustache if they're female. It's fun. There's a lot of gender differences uh, with all the Pokemon, so anyway. Or with a lot of the Pokemon, not with all the Pokemon. 
Only a small handful of them have visual gender differences. Okay, here we go. Oberon. Meowth, that's right. Meowth. That's weird. All right, anyway, Meowth. Double kick. Payday. See, he spends money to make money. <laughs> Just throws it. Go. Oh, spank. All right, we're gonna try to quick attack him so he doesn't take any more of my money. Ah, got him. Oh, that's a really good idea. Palms in the comments. Who's ready for playing this with a full Thanksgiving stomach and relaxing to this game? Oh, man. If you guys don't want to do that or play it, just watch my video while on Thanksgiving, dude. Put it on the big screen. Share it with the family. You got TM57 Payday. All right, great. Payday, uh, uh, it'll move that'll scatter money around. You pick up a extra pocket money. All right, so deal. Uh, with that being said, we are going to teach Payday to our Pokemon because we need a little bit more money, right? Uh, we're gonna do that, and it looks like partner Pikachu is the only one that can learn it on our team, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Headbutt. I want to keep priority in the form of Quick Attack, because you never know when you're gonna need that. Yeah, it's a weaker base power move, but priority is priority, so we're gonna do that. In case you guys are not familiar with what priority is, it means that the move will always go first, always with an asterisk on it. So keep that in mind. A sleeping baby over here. It's a sleeping Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't seem like a Pokeball will do very much while it's in this state. He's out. All right, so here we are in Mount Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, look, I got a, like a Brock little boulder badge. That looks great. Okay, so, oh, that's a big one. Oh, wait, no. Uh-oh, who's these guys? Do you guys know who these people are? Question mark, question mark, question mark, obviously. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther in. You, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Aw, oh, Meowth. He was out there sleeping, wasn't he? We know there are rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right, if anyone is gonna profit off those rare fossils, it's gonna be us. All right, see ya, Meowth. I like Meowth. Meowth is very cute, and I love his little animations. I lost my big, huge Zubat. Okay, so since we're in Mount Moon right now, I feel that we're gonna go get a huge Geo, dude. Yeah, buddy, it's huge! Like, you have to say that every time. <laughs> every time you find a huge Pokemon and that little text comes up, you have to say, it's huge! All right, so get your Pokeball moving through the ring and you can get a bonus for a great technique. All right. I'm getting a little nervous right now. Some of you may know why. And no, it's not looking into Geo... It's not because I'm looking into Geodude's biceps. They're, <laughs> they're huge. No, no, it's not because I'm looking into Geodude's biceps. Or wondering why Geodude's the strongest and best Pokemon in the game. Because Geodude can fly, guys. He can fly, it's that simple. Best Pokemon in the game. He can fly, gone. Nidoran's at 10, excellent, excellent. Magikarp is slowly growing. We're gonna keep that Magikarp with us for a while. All right, let's take some bets right now. Uh, when in the game do you think that my Magikarp will evolve? Lieutenant Surge, Misty, you let me know in the comments. All right, here we go, little kid. I'm coming, buddy, I'm coming for you. My Pikachu's got all the moves. Bug catcher Kent, hello Kent. A Butterfree, wow. Get shocked, Butterfree. A level seven Butterfree, that's pretty rare. It's pretty rare to find that considering you caught in the wild, right? All right. Magikarp already growing. We gotta get to 18, right? Magikarp's 18, and then it evolves to Gyarados. 
All right, so we're getting even more Pokeballs from these guys. So I got to catch a Zubat. Oh, okay. Dang, I thought I saw a wild Bulbasaur. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. Watch. Oh, whoa, who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's Geodud, man. Get out of here. But see, this is great because you can just nimbly dodge out of the way of all the Zubats. And you don't have to worry about taking two steps and then a Zubat, another two steps, a Zubat. You don't have to worry about that. This is awesome. But don't go play in the game without catching your fair share of Zubat. Simply because you need to keep on getting experience in the game in order to kind of keep up with it, you know? Anyway, I'm here for some money. I heard Bellsprout is made out of money. Two hit KO? Spending that. Ooh, beautiful. Two hit KO. I want to find out how much money I actually get. Oh, dang. Where'd that come from? How much money we pick up? Oh, dude, we picked up almost like double the earnings that we got from her, which is awesome. Oh my, look who's here. Oh, you're pretty fast, kid. Okay, thanks. <gasps> Paris! Yeah, dude, Paris! It's tiny! Okay, here we go. We're gonna go launch this. The hammer comes down. Watch. The hammer down. Doink. Oh, he jumped. That's cheating. Beautiful. Straight down. Paris, man. There we go. We got a double evolution for you guys. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Sit back, grab the popcorn, and enjoy. A double evolution. Metapod and Kakuna at the same time. Pretty great. Everyone levels up. What? Metapod is evolving. Oh, Butterfree. Now, typically at this point of the game, I would totally keep Butterfree with me. Because Butterfree is just so good. You get access to psychic attacks really early on the game with confusion. So good. So yeah, I would, I would uh, totally recommend using Butterfree. But I'm at a point where I just want to get Pokedex completion. So Butterfree doesn't evolve anymore. So I'm going to push Butterfree to the side and we're going to put Mankey up there. Maybe we might bring Pidgey or Raticate, Rattata there. And we'll do that. So now we got a double evolution, looking great. Okay, excellent. Excellent. It has poisonous stingers on its four legs and tail. Twin Needle, all right. Excellent, let's go. All right, that was great. Oh, now we got another one? We'll be here for days. Paras! Burrows under the ground to gnaw on the tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. Sorry, Paras. I feel sorry for that Pokemon. If there's any Pokemon you feel sorry for, it's Paras. All right, Pokemon Box. We are going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. Since you don't evolve anymore. And we're going to go with Mankey. And we're going to go with uh, Rattata, I guess. I don't know what level Rattata evolves at, but our team, I don't really, we don't really need the Pokemon on our team. We're just kind of passively leveling them up. All right, Clefairy. Oh, dang, we're going deep. I don't know if I should have. Okay. Do I have a Zubat? I think I avoided the Zubats. I'll catch a Zubat. 
All right, here we go. Bag, raspberry. I wish there was a shortcut for raspberry. Are there not shortcuts in the, like the item or like the control sets or something like that? That was lame. A little off center, but hey, we'll take it. Like if I can press, I don't know, uh, maybe like ZR to launch a raspberry, like assign shortcuts to the detached Joy-Con, maybe? Am I the only one that thinks of that? Okay, Zubat emits ultrasonic cries while it flies. They act as a sonar used to check for objects in its way. All right, really good. And a Team Rocket. We, Team Rocket, are the Pokemon bandits. We strike fear into others with our strength. Oh, cool. Rocket Grunt. Zubat. Oh, you got a Rattata. Alolan? Dang, regular. Pikachu is gonna beat him up. Dunk. Dunk. Sorry, Rattata, you're gone. Beautiful. What are we doing here? Just take a Pokeball, dude. Just take it. I need this experience, please. You're a Zubat. You got a natural low capture rate. Oh, come on. I don't have time for this. I don't have time. All right, so I'm going to go back upstairs. I feel that I may have missed something on the floor where Jesse was. So I'm going to go walk around over there. And I don't have to worry about getting into any random encounters simply because... I can dodge them uh, normally, which is awesome. So I did not, oh, okay, whoa, Paris, Geodudes. Uh, okay, whoa, Youngster Joey, and wow, there's a lot of things I missed up here, dang. An awakening. Okay, how about you? What, don't sneak up on me. Dude, I walk in front of you and then talk to you. Oh, it's, whoa, oh, super nerd, Jovan. Grimer, wow, it's the first time we see Grimer, hey. Don't worry, we got, we got just the move for Grimer. We're gonna take his money. Ah, maybe that's a three hit KO. All right, well. Pikachu. Don't get poisoned, Pikachu. I didn't buy a, an antidote. Oh no, what if Pikachu gets poisoned? <gasps> no! What? Oh my gosh, that's not good at all. It's a lot. I cannot take this anymore. I don't have a poison heal. I bought potions, but that's not gonna help me. I gotta switch out. Jovan, man, you gotta make my job harder, huh? Because I was milking him. I was milking Jovan. He does have poison attacks. I'm already a poison type with Bulbasaur. Yeah, let's just do it. Whatever. Bulbasaur has got that uh, that big headbutt, so I guess we're gonna be fine. I don't really want to use the other Pokemon. You know, it's like, am I gonna use like Magikarp, Mankey? No. Dang, dude, what? You're so strong. Flinch him, dude. That's a hard battle. So now I'm wondering, like, every, like, X amount of steps that I take, will Pikachu's health go down? Or can I just, like, pat him on the head and the poison goes away? My Pokemon won't do. 400 bucks, and I got 140, so Pikachu earned that tip. We're gonna use that money to buy you something, Pikachu. Okay, uh, where is Play With Pikachu? Can I? Oh, I know. You don't feel so good. I'm sorry, dude. Can I just, like, pet your head and get rid of your poison status? Can I give you a berry to eat to get rid of your poison status? Like, what?
I don't think that got rid of the poison status. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. I, d I was like ill-equipped to deal with this stuff. Bulbasaur! Nice teleport, dude. Bulbasaur using teleport like that? What a good guy. Alright, well luckily for us, the Pokemon Center is right next door, so we're gonna go get healed up. I kinda wanna go bet get some uh, antidotes, man. Like, I don't want Pikachu to get poisoned again. That's not, that's not worth it. Uh, party, Pikachu still poisoned? Yeah, so that did not cure it. I was thinking it'd be like Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, where like, after the battle, you go into like, Pokemon Ami, and you give them a little pat on the head and the poison status is gone, you know? Like, that's a thing. Look at that Premier Ball, though. All right, anyway. Hope to see you again. Yeah, I hope so too. Why? Hmm. I was gonna say, why don't you like sell stuff? But I don't. I'll be alright. I'm not gonna get poisoned again. I'm not gonna get poisoned again. And then, like, I shouldn't be too intimidated about running in and out of here simply because I can dodge every single wild encounter. Like, usually in a main Pokemon game, you'd be like, oh, now I gotta walk through a hundred different Zubat in order to get to the Pokemon Center or, you know, use the escape rope, so. Alrighty. Mankey. Mankey, will you survive this? Of course not. That's a Pikachu's Thundershock. Although I did want to do a little bit of uh, payday against the kid. <laughs> it's like you robbed Robbie. 160. Dang, dude. We can get... You know, 160 seems like a lot right now, but it's chump change. I'm sure that towards the end of the game will be like, Oh, dude, remember when we were going crazy over 160 drops for, uh, for money? As a large Zubat. Okay, that was interesting. We got a Repel. Okay, that's great. Why even use a Repel when you can just dodge out of the way of them? Dude, I want I want a Clefairy, man, and uh, and an Onix. I want to ride on the Onix too, because Onix is a ride Pokemon in this game. Speaking of Clefairy, uh, Fairy type, normal type. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a Fairy type in like the newer generations, but we're kind of hearkening back to Gen 1, where that wasn't a thing. Oh well, we might as well find out for science, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay, so it's a fairy type, got it. So fairy types exist. Go figure. Fairy types exist, but hold items don't? Uh, shenanigans. Fairy types exist, but hold items don't, and abilities don't. Okay. I see the choices there. Okay, thanks for the money. We got 70 off of that one payday that we used, and we're good. So that was good. Thanks, Lass. What else you got over here? Ooh. Oh, hey, James! Yikes, quit following us. Okay. There's a way down, too. What is that over there? Oh, it's a backpacker, maybe? Did you come to explore the cave, too? I did. But, like, there's two areas where I want to look. There's one all the way at the beginning where you go down, like, two floors where that uh, rocket grunt was. And, of course, there's this spot where you can go down. So, a lot of things happening, man. Okay, we're gonna go with the double kick. What's stronger? Double kick is base power 30, so 60. Payday is 40. Yeah, I guess double kick is stronger. I'm just worried he might have like magnitude. No, he won't learn something silly like that. It's a baby entry that's kicking sand in my eyes. Like, what's his problem? I'm gonna, yeah, I guess I'm gonna double kick. And I'm not gonna miss this time. One, and two. Good job, Pikachu. Yeah, 
Youngster Josh, what a little guy. Thanks for the Pokeballs, by the way. All right, so here's a backpacker. I'm gonna explore this entire, oh my gosh, there's three different options where I can go, wow. Dude, really? All right, hey Bulbasaur. Oh, a drop of water fell down and startled it. Hmm, thanks for telling me. Pearl, that's good, we'll sell that for money. I'm not trying to talk to you, Bulbasaur, I'm sorry. You're a cool dude, and I love catching you, but... Oh, I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Oh, that's great. What about potions and antidotes? Whoa, you surprised me. Oh, you're just a kid? I am. I'm not just a kid. I'm the kid. That's going to beat up your Geodude. Marcos. I like how I knew you had a Geodude. What else is the hiker going to carry? at the beginning of the game. A Geodude, Onyx. All right, luckily for me, I've got a lot of experience double kicking Geodudes in the mouth. Doink. Come on, max damage, come on. Oh, lame. I don't know if Payday is gonna KO him right here. I kinda wanna KO Payday to get a little bit of money. Like, that's the strat. Got him! That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Insult to injury. Not only did I attack you and KO you with a move that's not very effective against you, but I took your money. How does that work? All right, so we got a little bit more HP. Awesome. Pikachu wants to learn the move Thunder Wave. Oh, that's great. T-Wave is going to help out. I like T-Wave. Uh, I like it. Mm, that's, a, that's a tough one. All right, looks like we're getting rid of mm, Quick Attack. Uh, quick attack was great. I mean, my Pikachu is very fast. Not too many other Pokemon are gonna be faster than me. So, so much about the spiel about priority being priority, right? T Wave's good. You can inflict some status on uh, on some Pokemon. But like in this game, you don't necessarily need that because we're not gonna inflict a uh, status effect on any wild Pokemon to capture them. So maybe T Wave's not that great anymore. Anyway. We're gonna have to get some heart scales, right? And remove quick attack, or relearn quick attack. Min max, nice, not bad, not bad. And he's gonna survive, <laughs> donk me on the head with that. And I'm gonna take his money for the KO. So we use payday twice. I'm wondering if payday is the exact same amount of money, amount of money every time you use it, or it's based off the, uh, the, the trainer. 400 for winning, 145. That's weak, dude, it's just chump change. That's such a gimmicky move, but we're making a little bit more money, so that's good. All right, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run all the way down to the very first instance of a cave, and I'm gonna see where that leads us, and then we're gonna go to the second instance of a ladder, and then the third instance, and we're gonna fully explore this cave, because you don't wanna pass up anything in the game. Like, you never know what you can find, you never know what's gonna spawn out, and uh, we'll go from there. So this was the Team Rocket Grunt, and we beat him up, and there was a Geodude that I just randomly ran into. Don't need him. And that's fast, by the way. Did you see how fast I got out of that? Super fast. Oh, so that's great. If I just walked a couple more steps, I would have found a rare candy right here. That's great. How about over here? Is that a Clefairy? Oh, it's a Clefairy! Bulbasaur, I don't care. Let's go. We gotta get that Clefairy. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, Geodude, get out of the way! Out of the way, dude! Literally, dude, get out of here. That's that rare, that rare Clefairy. And there was another one over there. Dang, I gotta, I'm gonna try to catch both of them. Who wants this Clefairy? Well, I'll trade you, dude. Because that's a thing in this game, trading. I'm running out of rats, though. Stop jumping. Jump back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's cool, man. 115 experience for it. That's great. Sure, let's use Horn Attack or learn it. Uh, we're gonna learn that over Leer. Excellent. Okay, okay, things are looking good. We gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this cave, man. 
Learned horn attack. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Mankey to seven. Keep going, keep going. All right, so we got one Clefairy, which is awesome. I'm gonna catch another one, and it'll be trade fodder, right? You guys need some rare Pokemon. So that when we trade, I'll be like, hey, dude, remember that? Oh, get out of my way. Duh, get out of here. Don't worry, watch. Five seconds and you're done. It's great, because you could keep on spamming the B button, and it'll... Uh, dude! It'll automatically get you to, like, run away. So I just need an Onyx. Ah, oh, give me that thing. Let's go. Wild Clefairy. Dude, I'm running out of Razzes, man. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna bag a Raz. And I'm just curious as to, like, how one gets even more raspberries. Jump back, jump back. Or not. I, am I just gonna do it sideways? Can you get centered? Thank you. What are you doing? Do I have to, like, rotate? I, I don't know this off-centered mechanic in this game. Guys, little help? You just wait until he goes center, don't even bother? Like, what? I don't know about that. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. It's like you just wait until they go off center because I don't feel that you can throw like this way or throw that way in order to get it. Like, I don't know. Bulbasaur is about to evolve though. So I got some trade fodder. Any of you guys ready to trade? Dude, I got you. I got you covered. Hook me up. Give me a, uh, give me a Bellsprout. Give me that Eevee, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee ex exclusive. Oh, dude, wow. You just stay here all day, get the catch combos, and then shiny, shiny hunt. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, here we go. That was awesome. Paras. Okay, so we got a rare candy. Now, keep in mind, if you guys are new to Pokemon, rare candy instantly levels up one of your Pokemon one level. So what you want to do is you really want to save them. You really want to save them for like end game because a one level of experience uh, at the beginning of the game at like level 10 or something like that is a small amount of experience versus a level 98 level up of experience. So keep that in mind, save your rare candies. Don't use them until the very end um, when you're at that struggle of like, oh dude, I'm at like level 98, come on man. Like how am I gonna get these guys all the way to 100? Here's a nugget that sells for a lot of money. Typically, like, what, 5,000? Oh, dude, watch. What? Item finder? Come on. Dang. I was gonna say, like, usually whenever there's, like, a random stray rock, you can go and press A on it, and then you can get a, a random item. There's a lot of... Just like that. Oh, that's interesting. So these, like, gr these, like brown pu puddles contain potentially items. Oh, dude, that's cool. I don't want to talk to Bulbasaur, though. You might go back in the ball, Bulbasaur. Because of how many times I'm uh, running on you. All right, all right, all right. Get me out of here, please, please, please. Dude, you found a hidden moonstone. Now you guys know. So you got a hidden moonstone on that. And if I ever see any of those other, like, wet spots, I'll be sure to do that. There's, he's standing on a wet spot. There's a wet spot. Watch, watch, watch. No, nothing? Bulbasaur, stop it! Out of the way. Anything? No, no, no. I guess that's kind of like, hey, you're in a cave, you might as well be pressing the A button every step you take. You, you never know what you're gonna find. Here, watch. Guarantee it. No, nothing. No, nothing. All right. Hey, Meowth! Why don't you talk English, buddy? Maybe he's just putting on a front. Still no Onyx, dude. I don't know if someone in the chat earlier was saying that Chansey spawns in this area. I don't know about that, man. That sounds way too far-fetched. All right, so there is one way, and there's a Pokeball over here. Yeah, yeah, out of the way, Zubat. Got to revive. All right, cool, we won't use those. Oh my gosh, that's, I'm gonna take a tiny one, dude. Why not? This is the, like, the capture mechanic, right? I've got three in a row, I might as well go for a shiny, right? I'm running out of raspberries. Don't jump, please. 
Beautiful. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I use a lure? What? Come on. What are you doing? That was an excellent toss I did before. Come on, dude. Let's go. Wait, did I just use two raspberries in a row? Ugh. Misclick. Why isn't there a shortcut button to, sh to launch a raspberry? One, two, three, go. That's the third one. Right? It should say, like, chain times three. Because I ran into, like, a couple other Pokemon in between this, right? That's not gonna break the chain. Yeah, it doesn't break the chain if you run into, like, Geodudes or Zubats or anything like that. As long as you just capture them continuously. That's real cool. Oh my gosh, we're about to... Dude, you gotta catch, like, 30 of them. You know, maybe these things aren't really that rare. You want to see the curved raspberry that I just threw right there? It was awesome. You missed it. I'm not gonna waste a Pokemon until you're, like, in the middle, so... Come on. Shiny Clefairy? Oh my gosh. Let's go. What are you doing? Watch, watch, watch. Oh, dude, what? You can? Oh, that's insane. That's really crazy. So, like, it is. Like, you can throw, not a curveball, but, like, an angled shot. Stop jumping over there. Dude. That's cool. Rather than, like, the judge's hammer, which we've coined, <laughs> you can go like, hey, and he throws it that way. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so that's four in a row, guys. That's four Clefairy in a row. I'm not, I'm not gonna go shiny hunting at all. No, I'm not. Not right now, at least. <sighs> that's cool, though. You know, like, I, I've never done, like, an actual shiny hunt in Pokemon, but, like, this, I can get behind. I can totally get behind this. All right, we're pulling a big job here. Okay, Team Rocket rules. Drowsy, okay. Yeah, we'll play against Drowsy. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I like the color yellow that he is. It's like a bright yellow. So bright. All right, let's see. Two Thundershocks. Uh, maybe three. Wait a second. Wait a second. I went asleep. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I don't know how you hit that, but we got a we got a Fire Emblem Awakening right here. Let's go. Oh, dude, really? You're gonna pull this stuff on me right now? You got me asleep and then you get the Confuse hacks? Get out of here, man. You, mu you must be thinking of something else. Actually, all my Pokemon are pretty much weak against him. Uh, except for Rattata. I'm gonna power through it. We're gonna power through it. I should at least Parahax him. Because this is gonna be a 3-hit KO. And there's my quick attack that I could have used, but that's okay. Confusion, stop. I'll just take your money. Don't, 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 don't hit yourself. Hey, good job, Pikachu. Please tell me you only have one Pokemon. <laughs> Those hacks were pretty intense. All right, good, Pikachu. Hey, you are so good. Give me that 80 bucks. Every time Pikachu uses uh, the payday, we're going to try to keep tally of how much money that is. And we're going to spend that on outfits for Pikachu. I think if you're earning that money, it's yours, so you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, aren't uh, aren't those dark colored things fossils? Alright, Meowth, go get those fossils. Hmm, so they're looking for fossils, eh? Quit goofing around and go already. 
You can do it, Meowth. Oh, look who's here, number five. Yo, we're made out of Clefairies in this episode. I hope you guys realize this. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna toss it, because I know how to do excellent. Boom! That's a great. The judge's hammer comes down and dunk. That's number five, Clefairy. Dude, I thought Clefairy was rare, man. I don't know, I kind of want to use a lure to get Onyx, though. But at the same time, I don't know how rare lures are, and maybe there's going to be a different area where lure is going to be even more uh, useful. I don't need Poison Powder, dude. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll put that instead of Tackle, because we already have Headbutt. You never know when you're going to need it. Okay, once we're done with the Team Rocket battle, we will absolutely... Um... Oh, Sleep Powder? Oh, dude, forget that. Let's go... <laughs> Let's do that. Once we're done with Team Rocket, we'll end off the live stream, and I'll set up for the next live stream. I'm gonna go grab some lunch, and then we'll uh, we'll figure that out. But yeah, answer the comment question today. Which of Brock's Pokemon is your favorite? Five Clefairy! Oh, oh, anything here? No, no, nothing there. Ah, Peek! I mean, Bulbasaur! Come on, where's that Onyx, dude? Onyx is super rare. Like, what's the deal? And then I want you guys to vote on which fossil you guys want me to get. Helix fossil or... I don't even remember what the other fossil is, to be honest. Because because of the infamy around uh, the Helix fossil. Okay, little kids shouldn't be messing around with the grown-ups. It's also true. Whoa, nice hair! Dang, that model's awesome! Yo, we don't ever see a model like that in Team Rocket. That's great. I'm down for that. Good job. Good job. That's a model I can get, get, like, yeah, anyway. It's a good model. Dome Fossil. Is it the dome? Dome versus Helix? Like, in, in the back of my mind, I thought dome. But I'm like, all right, so over the years of Pokemon, there have been so many different names for fossils that come out of all these different Pokemon. There's gotta be something here. What? Dang. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. <laughs> you got another thing coming. Well, actually, he did find them, so finders keepers. I'm actually being pretty rude right now by uh, trying to take them from him. Whatever you do, don't just self-explode, okay? Don't self-destruct on me. I don't need that right now in my life. Dunk and dunk and a payday to finish him off. Beautiful. Light screen. Oh, that's gonna help you a lot, buddy. So, yeah, that's interesting. Like, light screen in this game. Like, I love in competitive Pokemon, I love running dual screens. Reflect, light screen, partnered up with the light clay so that it extends the length of turns that it takes. You can't necessarily do that in this game. Which is pretty lame. Alright, so... Yeah, we're gonna keep on battling. We got a, uh, a fighting type move against Magnemite. And he is steel in this game, so... Let's knock him out. Whoa! Hey, now! That was, that was a big crit. That health bar went so fast. Alright, sorry Magnemite. 64 points. Let's go. Everyone leveling up. Super Nerd Miguel, thank you, and I'll get that extra 80 bucks. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's no good to be greedy, right? You know, I think everyone their moms is going to pick Helix Fossil. So I'm gonna go with Dome Fossil. What do you guys think? Helix or Dome? Let me know in the comments. Helix or Dome Fossil? Let me know. I kind of want to use a lure over here to see if we can get Onyx. Um, yeah, Helix or Dome? Let me know in the comments while I, while I use this lure. Uh, lure? Wait. Wait, why do I only have one lure? What? Sh didn't I have two? I don't know. Whatever. Like, oh, hey! I guess I'll take the Clefairy. That's like my fifth one. 
<laughs> oh man, this is a level 11 Clefairy. All right, watch this curved raspberry that I'm gonna toss right here. Curved raspberry. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Hoot! Oh, come on. Throw it to the side. I what what kind of motion was I doing with the side sh with the side throws? Oh, <laughs> Helix of Dome, guys. Let me know in the comments. You guys can uh, let me know right now. There's about 1,300 of you guys watching. Thanks so much for coming. Truly, you guys are amazing. I need this Clefairy in my life, though. Great ball. Look at me. Throwing an excellent great ball. Dome, 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 helix, 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 dome, helix. Excuse me, you had a berry and a great ball. You ungrateful little Clefairy. And I threw the excellent. What? That's a great ball. That's 300 bucks. <laughs> Every time I see a Pokeball, I'll just like get wasted. Like I know the amount of money and I'm just like throwing away money. So maybe I should start using Great Balls more often. It goes a little quicker, so. All right, here we go. Dome or Helix, 142 experience. Pikachu leveling up to 17. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're good. Magikarp's at 10, which is great. That's like double the amount of level that he had. Only eight levels left. And I got the lure on right now. So the only Pokemon that I will absolutely catch is an Onix. And I think the area is too crowded. I don't really know how lures work. another Clefairy. Come on! Like, the lure only works for a certain amount of time. It's a very small amount of time. And then it just goes away. Like, how am I gonna get this Onyx? I'm... I'm not... There we go. Thanks, buddy! Hey, stop it! Go that way! Oh, <laughs> hey! You throw that way to turn and that way to turn. So you do have to put a little curve on it. Dude, just when you thought, like, curveballs aren't in the game, you straight up can throw a, a, an angled shot. It's not a curveball bonus. Unless it actually says that. I don't know. Yo, that was real cool, though. All right, that's a seven combo, man. We could be here all day trying to get this. All right, all right. Nonetheless, nonetheless. Let's keep, let's keep going. This lure is active right now. So we have all these stupid Zubats that are huge. I don't care about them. I want an Onyx. Paris, Paris, Clefairy. What's a shiny Clefairy look like? <sighs> I'm at like eight of these in a row, guys. I'm at eight of these in a row, man. We might as well go for 30 at this point, right? And I don't really care about Clefairy. Like, why, why do I care about? Well, Clefable's actually pretty good. 319 experience? Excuse me, why? Why did we get so much? Pikachu learning light screen? No way. Ever. Pikachu needs reflect more than anything. Helping hand? Nope. Magikarp 11? Good. Mankey 11. Bite? Who's learning bite? Rat? Yeah, sure. I don't care, I'm never gonna use you, so learn your bite and let's go. Eight combo, man. I want that Onyx, let's go. Dang, lure's gone. All right, GG's. I'm gonna take one step all the way to the back over here, and if there's an Onyx, cool. If not, whatever. We used the lure, we tried to get Onyx, didn't get him, whatever. I'm sure that some of you guys will have access to Onyx, and I'll trade you a Clefairy for it. <laughs> Best trade ever. Hey, get this out of here! No, no. We gotta go beat up Team Rocket and end off the episode. We're uh, we're taking a little too long with this, so let's go. I'm gonna go with Dome, because everyone is gonna go for Helix. That's why. So we're gonna go for Dome. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna touch trade, okay? All of you guys in the comments, we're gonna touch trade my my Kabuto with your Ammonite, and then we'll evolve it, and then you're gonna touch trade me the data for the other thing, so. 
It'll be fine. I got this weird, like, Clefairy thing happening right now. Why? Why is this happening? I got a hundred of these things. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Yeah, nine? Nine in a row? I saved like 200 bucks by throwing a regular Pokeball. It's so insane right now. Like, I, I'm really excited to beat the game, get the shiny charm, and then start shiny hunting, man. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Hey, hey, Bulbasaur! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> cool, dude! Thanks, man! That's gonna come in handy, an Ivysaur. I don't know when we're gonna use them. I'm trying to beat the game with just Pikachu, but either way. Dude, that was awesome. Ivysaur on screen, ladies and gents. What a great, what a great way of ending off the episode. And now with the evolutions, we get the data. Okay, dude, I'm down, I'm down. That is a Bulbasaur. And we got a nine combo of Clefairy. Okay, so here we go. Ivysaur looks great, dude. The show must go on. I'm gonna stop with the Clefairy thing. I'm gonna stop right there. Oh my gosh, I wanna, trust me, I wanna play shiny hunting all day. Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. Ah, how did you even get ahead of us? We're Team Rocket, I'm Jesse. And I'm James. Meow, that's right. And the two of us are gonna take that fossil back. Well here, how about this? You go beat up Super Nerd Miguel, and then you take his fossil. And then I'll take the fossil that you got, so I have both of them. Does that, work? Does that work out? Yeah? James! Alright, go Pikachu and Ivysaur. Alright, looking good. What a good team. What a, what a very good team. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of Thunder Shockage to Coughing. Oh, look at this. Double battle. And then we're gonna do a little bit of uh, a Salute Powder to Ekans. Do you guys know that Ekans is snake spelled backwards? Raise your hand in the comments if you didn't know that. Crit and the sleep powder. Whoa, just, pff, just push it on him, right? I was thinking like it would sprinkle from the top. No way, dude. Ivy sort of just like caught. Okay, that's great. We're gonna go Thunder Shock on Ekans, and then we're gonna go Headbutt on Coughing. Coughing. Oh yeah. Dunk. Boom, Ivysaur headbutt. Ah, nice. 80 experience, excellent. Okay, Thunder Shock on that one. Here we go, fight with the headbutt. Oh, on coughing, I think it'll just auto aim to Ekans, right? <laughs> it should. Doesn't matter, two hit KO from that uh, Thunder Shock. All right, so Ekans, coughing, gone. Hopefully by the end of the game, these two will have their fully evo evolved forms of uh, Weezing and Arbok. I can't believe it. That, a twerp beat us? Uh, sorry guys. Jesse James looks like Team Rocket's blasting off. All right, yes you are. Oh, 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 oh! You look completely exasperated. Well, luckily for you, I got some, I got some rubs. I got some nice pets on the chin, pets on the leg, pets on the tail. All right, and we're gonna do some berries. These berries, you can have these guys. I don't like using these in battle. So these are Pikachu berries. Um, um. Pika, Pika, eat three of them. Good girl, good job. See you, little one. All right, uh, what, you, you wanna talk to me again? Oh, looks like Pikachu has a present for me. A uh, present for me? Where'd you get that from? A round glass marble. You can see colored glass inside the transparent marble. Thanks. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know what a marble does, but hey. Any other onyxes? Last chance. Last chance. Onyx. 
Okay, Route 4! Here we go, this is a great opportunity to save. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to save right now. Wow. Alright, so... We saved our game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I hope you guys are all on board with me playing this game all day, every day, until we beat this, right? I'm looking at the screen right now. There's 1,300 of you guys watching. That's an amazing number. Make sure you guys are all subscribed. Turn on your notifications, and uh, we'll go from there. So, ooh-wee, dude. What a day today, huh? This was a, a pretty short live stream. Only an hour and 16 minutes. Wink, wink. <laughs> so anyway, uh, make sure you guys are all on board with subscribing, turning on notifications, right? We're going to be streaming this game in the next half an hour. Let me go grab some food. We'll jump on board with part three, where potentially we can go fight Misty. And that's going to be really exciting, especially because we've got Pikachu with the electric attacks. And it's going to be so much fun. So, uh, newest video on the channel there. Click on screen. Watch our playlist of 100% walkthrough of Let's Go Pikachu. And right over here is our tips and tricks playlist. So, go check on all that fun stuff. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Discord. Join the Discord. Discord link is over there on screen. You guys can become a sponsor. Yeah, we got a lot of things happening. So, thank you so much for watching. You guys are an amazing crowd. All of you guys that bared with me through some, uh, some issues. Wink, wink. We'll be all right. So, I saved the game. We'll be all right. Anyway, we'll see you later. Uh, give me about 30 minutes. We'll get the next video going. Have a great rest of your day.